David Winbush, who runs the 40 and 4.41, uh, and gained 18 uh, yards against Oklahoma in 1997. And Carl Neesmith are the two deep men for KU to receive the kick from Tim Duncan from right to left, south to north. We're about underway with Big 12 football. Merv, it's good to get in conference play, isn't it? It really is. It really is. I think that uh, it's just a whole different atmosphere. Here's the kickoff as John Bible referee gives the signal. Tim Duncan booms it right through the uprights at the other end. And so KU will start at throwing 21st down and 10 yards to go. I really don't exactly know what to uh, expect from Kansas offense. I watched some highlights on uh, my computer on the Internet, and they appear to be pretty explosive, Merv Johnson. Lots of ability, lots of talent on that team. I think they'd like to get the Sooner defense spread out and give those running backs some cracks. I think if they could just have their wish, that's what they'd like to happen. Harrison Hill goes wide to the left, and Tremaine Fulton wide right. Boy, he's a speedster. I formation with uh, Moran Norris and Winbush in the eye behind the quarterback, Dylan Smith. Sooners stunning, and flags are thrown. As David Hurst, I think, moved, Merv. Yep. He's the tight end. Sooners were pointing at him. Uh, I'm glad to see Straight uh, starting the ball game. Five yards, was three, first down. You heard John Bible tell us, John Bible, the referee. So Kansas starts off with a mistake, and I know that's not what Terry Allen likes, their coach. No, you sure don't like to start the game off like that. I uh, mentioned I'm glad to see Straight starting the ball game. He missed a lot of practice this week, and I was concerned whether he'd be able to start. Fulton wide left, Harrison Hill wide right. Eye formation. It's Norris and Winbush in the eye behind quarterback Donovan Smith on a first and 15 from the 15. Hand up to Winbush. Over right tackle. He's swamped behind the line. Corey Callens. And Ka also uh, Justin Hartwig tried to block, but he was just, he couldn't get Callens. And Callens from right end and got a lot of help actually from left end as they lined up. He'll lose uh, back to the 13, so Kansas going the wrong way on a penalty and a loss. It is a second down and 17 from the Kansas 13. Uh, Cody checking in, Dan Cody, uh, defensive end for Oklahoma. KU has wide receivers, two left and one right. Shotgun, Donnan Smith over the right tackle, cuts up at the 15, and Thatcher gets him at about the 15-yard line. Quarterback draws what that amounted to, Murr. I think you could uh, behind on yardage early in the game, backed up. Uh, like to get the defense uh, maybe a little bit by surprise. I bet you could uh, nine times out of ten call that play. Third and 15 from the Kansas 15, which uh, was where they were after that five-yard motion penalty. We have two wide receivers left. That's Tremaine Fulton and Harrison Hill wide to the left. And wide to the right is... Uh, Harrison Hill, well, anyway, we have two to the left, one to the right. Dylan Smith back to pass. He's hit just, he throws. Hits intercepted at the 28-yard line by J.T. Thatcher, and he gets to the Kansas 25. Trying to hit Tremaine Fulton and threw it behind him, and a great interception by J.T. Thatcher. And for Thatcher, that's his third interception. He leads the Sooners in that department. Well, the Sooners had him uh, where they wanted him, had him with uh, third and more than 10, and they brought the strong safety blitz and got pressure on the quarterback, and he threw erratically and uh, got exactly what they wanted. Now so they've the got to capitalize. Sooners have great field position, needless to say, at the Kansas 26-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Just underway. No score. Third interception of the year, by the way, on Dylan Smith. Double tight end for Oklahoma, Anderson and Trent Smith. And we have one running back, Quentin Griffin, behind KU territory. Heifel under center, hands the ball off to Quentin Griffin. Over left tackle, breaks out of there to the right as he's almost got behind the line. As Quentin Griffin almost got out of the hole, could not. Matt Jordan, a defensive back by trade, a eight yard loss. Matt Jordan did not do a good job blocking and Quentin tried to go left and then came back to the right, got jammed up and they'll say he loses eight from the 26 back to the Kansas 34. So both teams have gone the wrong direction here early. Offset eye. Or beg your pardon, make that shotgun from the Kansas 34. It is second and 18. Heupel gets the snap. He looks down the middle. He still looks. He throws a pass. It's caught at the 25. That's five yards away from the first down. They needed 18, got 14 on the pass from Heupel. And Andrew Davidson, the left cornerback on the stop at the Kansas 20-yard line. Their protection on that play was outstanding, Bob. It was every bit as good as the block on the run. The first play was bad. The left side on the first play just got killed. So it's a third down play. The Sooners have converted 52% of their third downs this year and holding their opponents to 25%. Here's the shotgun from the KU 20, third and four for the first down. Early in this game, no score. Hypo back to pass, good protection. Throws a pass, caught, dropped. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway. That was Trent Smith intended for him. and. 
not uh, really a good play, Merv, in the sense that it was way short of the first down had it even been completed. Came with a six, uh, at least a six-man rush, and probably Hypo didn't realize how well they picked up the blitz. He had a lot more time than he realized, and it'll be at the 30. It'll be a 37-yard field goal attempt. Ball is at the 27, and there's not much of an angle. He's kicking with the wind. Tim Duncan, ball down. Kick in the air, certainly long enough. It's true to the mark. It is. He hits it, and the Sooners go up 3-0 early with 12-15 uh, to go in the first quarter. It's on uh, third down, and they picked it up perfectly. Mark Matthews telling us that Trent Smith has a sprained wrist. We'll go down to get his comment after this kickoff as Tim Duncan for the second time here in the first two, three minutes of this uh, game will kick off. Sooners lead it 3-0 early over KU. And here's the booming kickoff. It'll go clear out of the end zone. Let's go down to Mark Matthew for comment, Mark. All right. Taped after that first possession, Bob. First of all, Howard Duncan is having his left ankle wrapped out there. He's an offensive lineman. And then tight end T Trent Smith is having some tape put on his left wrist. You might recall he had a pass right in his hand and happened out there to his left wrist, but they are taping it off. Thank you, Mark, very much. Three wide receivers for KU. They have first and 10 at their own 20 after that kickoff. Single back is Moran Norris, the 250-pounder. Sooner stunning a bit on defense. They have five men up there right close. Seven, actually, very close to the line of scrimmage. There's a handoff to Norris. He is hit by one man, but the 250-pounder piled rides his way up for about a three-yard gain, Mark. Callens. Or, uh, that's Callens on the tackle. And Merv, it's, uh, he's hard to bring down that guy. The pros play with now. He's ever been as big as those guys are. Well, to be ranked number one by NFL uh, in the combine preseason, uh, he, that's, that's quite a compliment to his ability and size. Three-yard pickup, second and seven. Kansas thrown 23. One wide receiver left, two to the right. Shotgun formation. Now, uh, Dylan Smith is by, by empty backfield as he sends three wide receivers to the right. Dylan Smith back to pass. Good protection. He throws a long, long pass. Has a man. It's caught at the 40. 35 30, 25 20, 15 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas. 85 yards. That's from the 23. Beat Michael Thompson on the play. Got a step behind him at a perfect pass as Dylan Smith does have that good arm. And Kansas goes from their own 23. And that's 77 yards on the touchdown pass to Roger Ross. Well, he can receive it. That's his ninth reception and his third touchdown. How about that, Merv? Uh, that's a great, uh, great throw and catch. Obviously, the Sooners can't be very happy about the coverage. That was obviously a pass. They were in a passing formation. No backs in the backfield, empty backfield. Had to be a pass or a quarterback draw. Joe Garcia, who kicked a couple of field goals against the Sooners uh, when he was a freshman in 97, is going to try the extra point. Ball is down, kick in the air, and no good. He missed the extra point. He was 19 of 20, 18 of 21, missed that one. So 6-3 is the score. Sooners trail for the first time, I believe, this year. 11-23 to go in the first quarter. Kicking off for Kansas is number 30, Joe Garcia. Back to receive for the Sooners is number 6, Antoine Savage. Sooners trailing for the first time this year. Line drive, hits at the 22, a squib kick. Bounds inside the 10. Savage at the 9 to the 10. To his left to the 20. Bumps into a pile at the 20 and is stopped right there at the 20-yard line. So it'll be 6-3 Kansas as the Sooners have their second a try at it on offense. First time they got great field position at the 26. Had to settle for a field goal. And now the second time they start from their own 20-yard line and trail it by a score of 6-3 with 11-14 to go in the first period of play. Here they break the huddle from... As Oklahoma's leading bank, bank of the center is Bubba Bertram up over the ball and Heupel in the shotgun. As the centers have uh, Josh Heupel throws up the middle, caught Wolfhook at the 25, 30, 35, still on his feet, 36-yard line. Quincy Rowe brings him down. Boy, that was a he was wide open down the middle, and a great run after he made the catch. Wolfhook, and he's the center's leading receiver or one of the top. We'll check our stats. Number two. Uh, Bob, I can't believe how many uh, people that Kansas put on or near the line of scrimmage then. They are defying the Sooners to throw the football. Which I don't is what they do best. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether they feel like their rush is capable. The Sooners have a man in motion, first and 10 from their own 36 after the 16-yard pickup. Back to pass is Heifel. Draw play to Quentin Griffin over the right side. Spins at the 38, hit at the 40 and down. 40. Tackled on the play by Neesmith. And Neesmith is the uh, free safety, and he is a great player. He was all Big 12 a year ago, transferred in from uh, Butler County 
a Kansas Community College. So a four-yard pickup, second down play, and six for Oklahoma from their own 40. Again in the shotgun. This time Sooners have three wide receivers left and one right. And only uh, Josh Norman is in there wide to the left, one of those three. Only Griffin is to the right of Hypo. Blitz is on. Hypo throws a pass. Caught at the Kansas 46. Down to the 40, and Savage is out of bounds inside the 40. There's a late flag at the 40-yard line in Sooner territory, which is what where the line of scrimmage was. Called by the side judge, and let's see. Uh, the line judge now talking to the referee, John Bible. By the way, the umpire is Bob Holliday. Headlinesman David Alexander. Line judge is Rusty Weir. Field judge is Greg Burke. Side judge is Butch Clark. Back judge Ron. About uh, 21, 22, 3 yards, something like that. The way the Sooners drop back and throw, that had to be a receiver illegally and lined up. And receiver downfield on the offense. Yeah. Receiver was covered up. Right. It remains second down. You might explain that, Merv, to the uninitiated. What does a receiver covered up mean? That means that uh, if you're on the line of scrimmage and another receiver lines up downfield, and uh, when you use multiple wide receivers, if they get careless, they can cover up a receiver inside pass route, and he's like a lineman downfield. Okay, very good explanation. Two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Sooners now second and 11 from their own 35. The 49, Josh Norman turns to down plus four yards. Sooners have first down number two, again from the 35 to the 50. 15 yards picked up. Kansas went to a 3-5, three, three down lineman front uh, then, which gives you a lot more. Anderson and Smith double tied in for Oklahoma. Under center is Josh Heupel. Fakes hand off, back to pass as Heupel fires a pass, caught at the Kansas 35 by Savage to the Kansas 34. That's a 16-yard pickup to the Kansas 34-yard line. That's his first catch today, Antoine, the 16th reception of the year. Sooners have three first downs, and they're on the move, and a pretty impressive drive here. They've picked up 15 yards and 16 yards in the last two plays passing. I think the Sooners went to two tight end formation there on first down because Kansas probably would give them a single coverage that they got. That's probably why they got in that alignment. Mackey and Wolfuck is left and Savage to the right. Heupel under center gives to Griffin down the middle. 30 down to the 25 or close to it. Big hole opened up down the middle by Al Basinger and uh, Howard Duncan. Basinger and Duncan really opened a nice hole there, Merv. As an old, I, I shouldn't say old, as an offensive line coach in the past, you must appreciate that. That's better, Bob, and uh, <laughs> I do appreciate it a whole lot more than I do the first play of the game. That was much better. <laughs> Second and one for Oklahoma to Kansas, 25 after the nine-yard pickup. Under center is Heupel. Griffin, the only back behind him, gets the handoff. He goes to his right, over the right spot, a right tackle spot, and I believe he has the first down. Depends on the mark but I believe they'll have it at the Kansas 24. Marcus Rogers, the inside linebacker. Kansas uses an unbalanced, or we should say odd-numbered defense, a three-man front. They'll measure, and uh, we'll bring the chain in from the east side. Looks like he made it from here. The Waterford Marriott offers you a winter circle weekend through November 26th. You can get a deluxe king room with breakfast for two, transportation to Remington Park Racetrack, handicapping sessions with Don Stevens and more, all for just $119 per night. Call the Waterford Marriott for details or reservations at 800-992-2009. And as you can tell by the crowd reaction, it was first down. And we have a score in from Texas, uh, from Austin. The Sooners play Texas next week, 36-7 with 4.22 to go. Texas leads Oklahoma State. Ball is at the 24-yard line. That's the fourth first down all in this drive. Ball's at the Kansas 24. Oklahoma first down and 10 yards to go after that first down. Now shotgun and back to pass. Heupel looks, lobs one, down for Wolfolk. Throws it over his head at the three-yard line. Very well covered by Quincy Rowe. Rowe is 5'9", uh, but the pass was way overthrown. Had to be thrown there intended for uh, Wolfel, and it's second down 10 from the Kansas 24-yard line. So Hypo passing right now is four of six, and he has uh, for 61 yards. He has an average. They're playing a lot of man-to-man. -man. He had man-to-man -man there in the corner one, but uh, uh, they're going uh, straight up with these Sooner receivers. Anderson, the tight end on the right, and we have two wide receivers left for Oklahoma. Off, uh, that's offset eye. Heupel back about a five-step drop. He looks, throws a short pass, caught at the 21 down immediately. Mackey makes the catch and uh, tackled immediately by one of those, uh, by Matt, Matt Jordan, defensive back in there. 15 games in a row, or this is number 16 for uh, Mackey, breaking the record. 16 games in a row, he has caught a pass. That breaks Eddie Hinton's record. Remember old Eddie, great guy. Ball is at the Kansas 20-yard line, third and six. Need to go to the 14 for the first down. 0 of 1 on third down conversions. 
They're showing blitz from the shotgun. Back to pass. Pass caught at the 10 yard line and tackled immediately. Antoine Savage, and that will be easily a first down at the 10 or just outside of it. Boy, a bullet pass by Hypo in between Andrew Davidson and Matt Jordan. Hypo really, really <laughs> threw a great pass there. He I really think. did. Good protection again. Uh, so far, so good with the protection. It's been excellent. So that was a gain of 10 from the 20-15-yard pass, a 16-yard pass, and that was a 10-yard pass right to the 10-yard line, and it's first and goal, we'll call it. Offset eye under center, give to Griffin, goes to his right, veers back to his left at the 9-yard line. Not much for him there. He gets a yard from the 10 to the 9. Second down goal to go. That was Nate Dwyer on the uh, tackle. He's the nose tackle. Got some help from Marcus Rogers, the inside linebacker. Now here is uh, checking in is Josh Norman for Oklahoma, replacing the tight end, Matt Anderson. Trent Smith uh, goes in for Quentin Griffin. Double tight end, I believe it will be. No, let's make two wide receivers left and two to the right. And shotgun formation from the Kansas nine-yard line. Waiting the snap. There is Hypo rolling left, throws a pass. Caught at the six by Norman, leaps downfield. A hey, great catch by Norman, a catch by Josh Norman. The crowd thought he got into the end zone at the uh, northwest corner there, right at the pylon, but, uh, man, I'd say that was a great catch. It was a low pass as Hypo rolled out to his left and threw it low. Norman made the catch at about the five and then dove down to the one. It really was. That's a super effort. Almost that's the same play that they hooked up on last week for Josh's 36 touchdown pass. They did the replay here on Sooner Vision. Now we have uh, third down in the yard to go. Hypo into the end zone for the touchdown. Right over Bubba Virtue. So Hypo scores the third touchdown uh, rushing of the year and, and on the year, no, actually it's his fourth rushing touchdown. And that was a great drive, 80 yards, and the Sooners went to third down twice, and one of them was that scoring play. So, boy, what a drive that was from the uh, 80, mostly passing, but some good running by Griffin. Now Tim Duncan with Fletcher holding, trying to make the extra point. Duncan has not missed a PAT this year. Snap ball down kick in the air and it is true to the mark. Sooners back on top leading 10-6. You just hope that they can do every time that someone uh, poses a threat uh, on the scoreboard to go out there and answer like they did. Well they mixed up uh, they they took what they gave them and Heifel threw it well and good receiving. Here's Tim Duncan kicking off for the third time with the win and for the third time he puts it clear out of the field to play. Probably save time they just put on the 20 and go. <laughs> He is really kicking well, and uh, just to, to check the statistics, he's now 20 of 20 on PATs this year, and 4 of 7 on field goals. Tim Duncan doing a great job kicking. Merv, you told me last year what a fine kicker he was. Yeah, he really uh, threw about 8 or 9 ball games, and then he went into kind of a funk right there at the end of the year. Uh, he could have had an unbelievable year last year if he'd finished it out. Shotgun, Dylan Smith at quarter gets the fakes the handoff, keep left side, big hole, 30, and he's tackled by J.T. Thatcher, just a half yard shot perhaps of the first down. Boy, there's that guy that just scares you to death, a Dylan Smith with a fake to the right side. He went back to the left, found a hole between John Audinetto and Justin Sands. The left tackle, left guard, and got nine yards. Really, the right linebacker just made an unbelievably poor play. He ran clear over to the left side of the defense on the fake. Uh, he's got to slow down a little bit, Bob. Second and one, or actually less than one for KU in the area of their own 30. Here is uh, Dylan Smith, quarterback keeper, gets the first down, probably at the 30. Linesman uh, marks it off there, and the umpire. They'll give him to the 31. So a couple of yards picked up. Kansas has their second first down pass. This one was a one, two yard plunge, so it's a second first down for KU at their own 31 yard line. Sooners late at first quarter, 5.52 to go, 10 to six. Shotgun for KU, wide left is Harrison Hill. And two wide receivers to the right and a tight end on the right. Hand off to Winbush. He's hitting the backfield. Boy, the Sooners had the reading the mail that time. Donovan Smith handed off instead of faking it over the right side. A loss back to the 28. Roger Steffen and Torrance Marshall, a great play. Really was. A great play by both those guys. Uh, had him before he ever got the ball almost. And 13 for Kansas. Sooners on top, 10-6. You would suspect pass here. Let's see what develops. Shotgun formation, tight end on the left. Three wide receivers to the right and one to the left. Empty 
Dylan Smith over the left side, spins, gets all the way up to the 36-yard line. As the Sooners were backed out of there looking for the pass, since it was an empty backfield, Rocky Kalmus tripped him up. He got from the 28 to the 36, and that'll bring up a third down play and five yards to go for Kansas. The Sooners put in uh, Ante Jones is in. So it's Brandon Everett, third down play for Kansas. Five yards to go, shotgun formation, three wide receivers left, and one to the right again in the empty backfield. Dylan Smith back to pass, great protection, throws a pass, overthrown, intended for Harrison Hill out to the near side, the west side, and uh, he was, if the pass was thrown too far out in front of him, Roy Williams, good coverage. Flag. We have a flag down that we just now saw inside the 30. And it's on Kansas, I think. Holding on Kansas is the call, and the penalty would move them back 10 yards and then they'd have to kick against the wind but the Sooners say let's take the ball probably I haven't said anything yet looks like that's what they will say Camus is the captain out there talking to the officials making the decision with the now here's a here's a John Bible holding off. penalty down well you couldn't hear John Bible's mic cutting out but he the Sooners refused the holding penalty that's a type of pass I think we want to see Smith throw more of. I think that, uh, you know, he can haul off and throw it the length of the football field. We saw that earlier, and, of course, he's a great threat to run. I think if we could get to where <coughs> they have to make him complete the routine passes, it, it, it will help. Joey Pelfanio will be in kick the ball. J.T. Thatcher is deep. Pelfanio averages 42.4 yards per kick. Fair catch single four by Thatcher and taken at the Oklahoma 28-yard line. A 37-yard punt. And this uh, punter for Kansas, Pelfanio, is really a good kicker. He is absolutely excellent. Great hang time. He can do by water Sunday, I guarantee you. So the Sooners start for their third possession at their own 28-yard line following that punt of 37 yards into the win. 4.23 to go in the first quarter, and the Sooners are on top 10-6. We've had quite a bit happen here in the first quarter. Mark. They really have. Uh, <laughs> that 85-yard touchdown pass, or 80-whatever it was, reminded me of that. Uh, play uh, at 98 or 99 yard, a fullback trap they ran on us in 97. Ooh, didn't want you to bring that up. <laughs> Fake handoff for Heupel, and he's hit in the backfield, fumbles the ball forward, and, and Griffin fell on it at the 26. So it wind up losing two. Heupel was grabbed, and they bear hugged him. That was Chaz Murphy, who the 6'4", or 252, who got the sack, and then the ball went free, and Griffin fell on it. At the 25 is where they placed it. So a two-yard, a three-yard loss from 28 back to 25, and it's a second down and 13. Offset eye, well, but they go to the shotgun now. Three wide receivers left and one to the right. 13 yards to go on the second down. Griffin blocking, it's back to pass his hypo, lobs one way upfield, and it's far overthrown. Intended for Damian Mackey, good coverage again by Quincy Rose. Done a good job defensively. So the Sooners... Unimpressive on those first two plays. Bring up third and 13 from their own 25, leading 10-6. They ran a play on first down there that uh, you don't see them run a whole lot, and that's a play-action pass with the quarterback staying in the pocket, and a right tackle got beat on pass protection. Frank Romero is having to play right tackle this week. He's been working at left, and I'm sure it's a little awkward for him over there. All right, it's a third down play and 13 conversions. Heupel may be changing the plays in the shotgun. Gets the snap, four-man rush, back to pass is Heupel. He is hit, gets in trouble, and it comes out of there. He's nine lobs a pass up field and throws it, and it's incomplete. Threw it where it wasn't anyone, but a Kansas guy dove for it. Lots of pressure that time on Heupel. Oklahoma's beef producers know that if you're a mom, you're a hero every day. Beef's key in nutrients, a balanced diet, and healthy lifestyle can give you a lot to go on. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Sooners uh, didn't do much that time on those that series. Place a fourth. Or have a fourth and third. Ferguson checks in to do the punting. Here's Back an unusual, deep is Harrison Hill and Roger unusual punt formation, Bob. Sooners lined up as if the wide receivers to the left and two to the right. Now the snap is back, and here is the kick. With the win, Ferguson on a nice high kick, fair catch, single four, and taken by Roger Ross. He is hit, and a flag goes down. Ante Jones hit him, and it was a clear signal for a fair catch. And Ante Jones, I'm sure we'll hear about that as as he will cost the Sooners after the 42-yard punt. Uh, Coach Stoops goes out of the... Let's go down to Mark Matthew, Mark. Bob Stoops is contending, Bob, right now. Coach Stoops is saying he was still juggling the ball. He never really made a good, clean catch, and that's why Ante hit him. 
And uh, they're discussing it out here right now whether or not he had firm possession of the ball at the time of contact. Looked like the uh, punt receiver there was juggling the ball as Ante hit him. Well, let's see what the officials rule. John Bible is the referee. Murr, what's your comment on that? Well, I, <coughs> I that ball that fell. First ball. Yeah, the back the way receiver I gave a fair catch signal and then was tackled after the play. That's a 15-yard penalty. First down. I'd say if the ball uh, if the ball went to the ground, then you're okay. But if he's just bobbling it, I don't think you probably can get away with it. And that really kills us field position-wise. So that 15-yard penalty moves the ball all the way up to the Kansas 47-yard line. And Kansas has fine field position. They're on 47. First down and 10 yards to go for the Jayhawks. Wide left is Roger Ross and Tremaine Fulton. Norris is in the Harrison Hill wide right. Shotgun formation. There's a fake handoff keeping the ball as quarterback. Donovan Smith hit just he throws and it's caught and he falls out of bounds. They're and it's a reception at the 34 yard line. That's a great catch by Harrison Hill who right on the sideline at the Oklahoma 34 made the catch just before he uh, went out of bounds with it. Both referees said he had it. I think uh, probably a good call. They're replaying it on center vision here. It's a great throw by the quarterback just before he got drilled. Well, it's a little questionable there on the replay. We have a final score in uh, Texas has beaten Oklahoma State 42 to 7. Well, it's all the way down to the Oklahoma 34 yard line on that pass play, a 19 yard pickup. Kansas has their third first down. Oklahoma leading 10 6. They shift the tight end to the left side. Shotgun, faking it. Donald Smith keeps the ball around the left side, being chased by Thatcher, who has him and gets him at the 30 after a four yard pickup. Thatcher showing some fine speed that time. A uh, few spot. Donald Smith, fake they're, they're really The Sooners are really taking that fake to the right side, and he goes back to the left. They've taken that uh, where a lot of the players take the fake, and that gives Donald Smith plenty of running room. <laughs> it really does. You know, your your man out there responsible for contain has got to stay at home. They're, everybody else has just kind of got to see the play as the game goes long and play it better. Empty backfield, about five and a half, six yards to go at the 29 almost, in between the 29 and 30. And now Kansas wants a... Oh, you takes a timeout here. ...to go on the second down play. Winbush in the backfield. Hand to Winbush. Overlap tackle. Makes a great cut at the 28, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 touchdown. What a great cut at the 28-yard line by David Winbush. And he went in 29 yards for the touchdown. And Kansas has scored from long range, 77 yards on a pass first quarter. They cap a drive of it by David Winbush. Boy, that was a great move he put. It really was. He jumped to the outside, and uh, the corner, who logically would have made that play if it broke, had gotten caught inside, and they either got knocked or fell down, and it was clear sailing. 53 yards and three plays for Kansas. They are tough. And here's Joe Garcia, who missed his first extra point. It's now 12-10, Kansas. Center's behind for the second time. Snap, ball down. It's blocked. I believe, no, it went through. I beg your pardon. Thought he blocked it as he put the two arms up, and it uh, went right between them and it threw the upright. So it is a... Good extra point, a little uh, blocked with the eyes there and not actually what happened. It was a perfect uh, extra point, and so Kansas has gone ahead by three again, Merv, with an impressive drive, 13 to 10. He really did. He got as close to blocking it as you'll ever get without blocking it. I know that. <laughs> but uh, now the defense is uh, they're struggling right now, Bob, uh, and it's with the big plays. They've stopped the run pretty well up until that. 23 yards, for three plays, took 20 seconds off the clock. Of course, the big play, the 29-yard run by... Uh, Winbush and Garcia's extra point good. It's now Sooners down 10 to 13, down by three points again. They had trailed earlier, you'll remember, for the Sooners' 80-yard drive, which got them back on top. So this Big 12 game is uh, shaping up as a real battle, and the way it's looking right now, Merv, it's going to go down to the, the final uh, quarter, and we'll see what happens. Well, we've got to hope our offense can start playing better and our defense can settle down. I think that they will. But uh, we need to start seeing some signs of it. You know, we protected so well the first time that we went down the field and scored. And then both tackles uh, on two separate plays got beat on pass protection a while ago, and Heifel had no chance. It will be Damian Mackey and Curtis Fagan deep, and Antoine Savage uh, deep, and uh, Joe Garcia will be kicking off from left to right into the wind. Sooners have had the wind here in the first quarter, and yet uh, Kansas has scored two touchdowns to the Sooners' one, and Oklahoma has the field goal. Kansas missed with their first extra point. The wind is gusting, and so uh, 
We have a uh, holder, Carl Ivey, cornerback by trade, who's holding the ball for KU on the kicking tee. And here's Garcia approaching it. Kicks it end over end, being held up by the wind. Savage takes it at the Oklahoma 7. To the Got a 10, hole. To the 15, to the 20. Goes right to the 20s area. And maybe a late hit around the 27-yard line. He went, he went into the... Uh, chain gang over there. I guess it wasn't a late hit. Maybe just tripped on that chain. At any rate, a pretty fine return from the 7 to the 27. So a 20-yard return of that kickoff on the Sooners 27-yard line. 2.55 to go first period. Kansas leads Oklahoma 13 to 10 as the Jayhawks have played good offense and uh, they're getting improved <laughs> defense here the last couple of times. Got Kempnick back in the game now at right tackle. He's Scott Kempnick back at right tackle. He was slightly injured. Shotgun now for Oklahoma from their own 27-yard line. Four-man rush. Pass caught uh, at the 27, and he makes the catch. He was nailed by Darius Lomax. An inside linebacker really hit him. Actually got a yard, but he paid dearly for that yard. That was a quick pass out in the near flat. Boom. He was hit after a one Yard pickup by Andre Wolfolk uh, made the catch. Looked almost like he went to a knee, didn't it? It did. Two wide receivers to the right and two to the left for Oklahoma on a second and nine from their own 28, trailing 13 to 10. First quarter, shotgun. Hypo fakes the handoff. Utah pass to Mackey, 30, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Good pursuit by Matt Jordan. Not a good run by Mackey, Bob. He's picking his way. He needed to have it full throttle when he came around that corner. He could have made a first down, I think. The gain as it was from the 28 to the 32, four yards picked up and brings up a third and five for Oklahoma, trailing 13 to 10 with a minute 58 to go first quarter. Josh Heupel has uh, Wolfolk and Mackey wide to the left side. Trent Smith and Savage wide to the right side. No tight end here, two of four on third down conversions. Shotgun formation from the Oklahoma 32 yard line. Need to go to the 37. Heupel back to pass. He's rushed out of the pocket, comes left. He let got Mackey, catch him and Mackey can't hold on to it at the 35. Just as the ball got there, he was hit, and Matt Jordan, the right corner, knocked the ball free, and it's incomplete. The Sooners run three and out. That's the second time in a row, three and out, Murph. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, it takes 11 players playing well to execute an offense. You get a missed block on a pass or a drop pass, those kind of things. Uh, the other 10 guys can be doing a great job. That's why offensive football is so difficult, Bob. So Jeff Ferguson will be in the game to kick from the, uh, with the wind here, that's the only good news about this, we guess the wind to their back. So Jeff Ferguson back to kick. He puts the ball in the air, beautiful kick this time, better kick, wow, check the five, you couldn't have a better kick than that. Perfect. How about that 63 yard punt, and the ball hit at the five just like a wedge shot. It bounced straight up and stopped right there. It what went, a kick. Kind of like one of your wedges, but I went <laughs> right back in the hole it made, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. That was a. That's awesome, I, that's awesome. Don't I wish. So Kansas fourth possession, the crowd really into it now as the KU leads Oklahoma 13-10. So this is the first time Kansas has had the lead and the ball in the game. Sooners answered the last time they were uh, behind. Ball, 62-yard punt officially. The ball is at the six, and Kansas is now in the I formation. Double tight end. First, the tight end is lined up at fullback, actually. And there is the give to... Norris, big hole, 10, 15, 20, up to the 22-yard line. Holy cow, great big hole over the left side as Moran uh, Norris and a late flag up at the 27-yard line. That was uh, about where the play ended. Derek Strait. Warning on Kansas. Side line Bench warning. warning on Kansas is what the flag. In other words, the, the, uh, they were creeping out there into the uh, field area. Get so there's the a gain from the 6 to the 23 is where they've marked it. Murph? Uh, I was say the bench gets in the way of the chain crew and the officials, and if they're not careful. But uh, uh, that's, uh, that's an unbelievably big hole they opened up there. And that, uh, For Kansas, they have a thrown 23 after the 17 yard run by Moran Norris. Kansas overloads the right side here. Shotgun, Diamond Smith, hands off over the left side this time. The Windbush, they have him behind Fisher. the line. Fisher. They, they overloaded the right side, and the uh, run went to the left. We have a flag down at the 36. Brian Fisher makes a Roger Steffen, but, and the loss will result from the 23, about a yard, back to the 22. 
block Roy Williams below the block, knees. Uh, below the knees is the preliminary signal. We have only 53 seconds to go in the first quarter. Kansas lead 13 to 10. The rule on that, Bob, is you can't come from a plank or a wide position and block somebody in the invulnerable to injury, and that's uh, against the rules. Apparently that's what happened. The receiver came from out here to the right and cut him down. They're still having a discussion on whether the centers will accept that penalty or not, and John Bible, the referee, will tell us. Oklahoma Center football brought to you by Dodge. In a perfect world, everything would be different. Crack back block on the offense. Penalty. His microphone is cutting off. Uh, we apologize for that. Nothing we can do about that. But the penalty is walked off back to the 11-yard line. So the center's accepted the penalty. Does that surprise you? Uh, no, it's a 15-yard penalty, Bob, from the line of scrimmage. I think you've got to take that with a win in your face or their face. So 22 yards to go on a first down play. Kansas with a similar setup. Norris is at tailback. Hurst is at fullback. Get to Norris. He's over left tackle, and he gets about a yard. Torrance Marshall on the stop after a pickup of only one from the 11 to the 12. That was the play that they gained right. 17 a moment ago. Pretty much the same play. Uh, Marshall uh, filled the gap there, left side, and filled it. And uh, we may not have another play before the first quarter ends. I think Kansas is waiting for the to run down because they want to be going with the win. So the clock is uh, running down. We have four seconds, three seconds. And there is the end of the first quarter. Kansas leads Oklahoma 13 to 10 at the end of period one. Beginning the second quarter of play, it's second and 21 from the 12 for Kansas. And a flag is thrown as he gets to the 15. We may and have a goes to number 33, Norris. The flag went right in the middle of all that. Torrance Marshall on the tackle at the 15. 65 is hurt. Bob, I don't have a roster in front of me. Say again, I'm sorry. 65 is hurt. I don't right. have a roster. One of their linemen. Offensive guard Kyle Grady. Looks like Texas. Went to Poteet High School there. Sophomore, 6'4", 295. He is on the ground. And uh, we're sorry to say that. His right knee apparently injured. The conference office has announced, that is the Big 12, that there are 19,000 tickets remaining for the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Holding football championship. On the offense. Penalty is declined. Brings up third down. The Sooners decline the penalty, so it'll be third and 21 for Kansas at their own 12. Repeating that, though, there are 19,000 tickets remaining for the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Big 12 uh, football championship. The fifth title game will be Saturday, December 2nd, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium. Tickets can be ordered through Ticketmaster at 800-676-5488, or you can call 816-931. 3-3-3-0 in the Kansas City area. This message provided by the Big 12. So after one period, first downs Oklahoma 5, Kansas 5. Rushing yards Oklahoma 5, Kansas 72. Passing yards Oklahoma 88, Kansas 96. Total yards after one quarter, Kansas 168, Oklahoma 93. Sooners uh, got one Kansas turnover. Kansas had got one Sooner. That's back up there. Oklahoma Thatcher intercepted a Kansas pass. So one turnover by Kansas, none by Oklahoma. And the uh, penalties, two for 20 yards against Oklahoma and two 17 yards. And the uh, time of possession negligible. Sooners have had it slightly more than KU. Okay, the ball is at the 15-yard uh, line. Third and 18 for Kansas. Shotgun. Donnan Smith. Sooners blitzing. Plenty of time. Now he rolls up. Now he fires a pass, away, has a man, and it's caught at the Oklahoma 48 and down immediately. Harrison Hill caught it, and Everidge on the stop. Brandon Everidge got it behind him. That was an amazing ad lib type play as Dylan Smith got out of all the uh, pressure, rolled out to his left, but just sort of flung it down there, and a great catch uh, by the receiver, Harrison Hill. Wow. Yeah, it's a freshman safety mistake right there. He uh, saw. Smith scrambling around. He knew how good a runner he was. He let the receiver go just a moment. About uh, 39 yards picked up. So Kansas gets out of the hole. Wow, and they have the ball at the Oklahoma 46 already leading. High formation. Dylan Smith hands the ball off to Norris over right tackle, and he's tackled almost immediately by the uh, shoe tops by Rocky Kelmus. And Roy Williams helped out. But that's the way you got to stop that big Norris guy. you got to get him before he gets off the launching pad. And virtually no gain on the play, again, at the Oklahoma 46, second down and 10 yards to go. Well, oh, there was a ball at the 15-yard line, Kansas with a third and long, and that long pass. 
He's become the tailback now on Moran uh, Norris. David Hurst, who's a tight end, has lined up at fullback on several occasions. KU changing things a bit from what they ran last week. All right, now the shotgun formation. Dylan Smith fakes the handoff. He retreats. He looks at pass. He has a long time to throw it. He has a man wide open behind Thatcher and overthrown for Harrison Hill. Well, that Thatcher better uh, say his prayers on that one. He had Thatcher beat five, ten yards on the play. Our entire secondary better say their prayers. This guy can throw the ball forever, and uh, they, they're they getting too lackadaisical uh, on these receivers, and these guys can run. They're going to have to... Uh, get back there and stay with him and see if he can throw the short pass. They're just letting him hold, throw it downfield. He's been behind us every time. I believe that was Michael Thompson rather than Thatcher. Yes, it was 19 rather than 15. Yeah, that's the second time for him. I, I just can't believe that they had 167 yards in the first quarter. That's unbelievable. Four wide receivers now on a third down 10 for Kansas at the Oklahoma 46. Winbush now is at tailback, and he is behind Donovan Smith. Draw play. Big hole. 45-40. Has the first down at the 35-yard line. Everidge on the stop. That was a third and 10, and they pick up 11. They really got the defense on their heels right now. They, uh, they're they running when they're supposed to throw, and they're throwing uh, when they're supposed to, supposed to run and throwing really well. And uh, right now, they'll get settled down here, but right now they've got them on their heels. Well, they moved the ball back a yard to the 36, so exactly a 10-yard pickup on the draw play by uh, David Winbush. And it's a first and 10, Kansas at the Oklahoma 36. They've marched all the way from their own six, the Oklahoma 36. The offset eye formation, Winbush the tailback. Norris is the fullback, he's the one offset. Here's fake hand off the reverse, around the left side. Sooners play it very well and have the man corral behind the line at the 36 yard line. That's Derek Mills, who came from wide right, got the handoff back left. And the Sooners played that very well, pursued well, and the loss negligible, but uh, let's say about a half yard on it. It's still at the 36 in Oklahoma Territory. That's, the way, that's the way a defensive end is supposed to play the reverse, like Heineke did then. Just uh, be awake and chase it down. Kansas has Tremaine, Fulton, Harrison Hill, and Roger Ross. Win Winbush in motion from the left. He comes to the right of uh, quarterback Smith, who's in the shotgun. The fake to him. Back to pass is Dylan Smith. Overthrows his man downfield. To Harrison Hill. Good to coverage by Roy Williams. And it'll be a third down and 10. See if the Sooners can hold up on this third down for Kansas at the Oklahoma 36. I just Kansas think, leads 13-10. I just think, Bob, that uh, the, his forte is throwing the ball a long way, and they've got great speed receiver. I think if they get to where they uh, don't feel like they can throw the long pass all the time, he'll throw more passes like he did then. He has not thrown the intermediate passes nearly as well as he's thrown the deep pass. He's sure thrown the deep ones well though. Unbelievable. Two wide receivers right and one left. Third and ten from the 36 in Sooner territory. Kansas in the shotgun. Dylan Smith takes the handoff, keeps the ball. He's nailed immediately on a great play. Ramon Richardson with a great tackle. Ramon from Broken Arrow. Roy Williams helped out as he went over the right side, had a little bit of a hole there, and then boom. That's what the uh, Line and the linebackers working together need to do. They close the hole Im immediately. And now he, he lost the yard actually there, and it's yeah. fourth down and 11 for Kansas at the Oklahoma 37. So the centers did hold up on that third down play and get the ball back trailing 13-10. Wow, that was a big play. That's a huge play, uh, regardless of whether they make this. Uh, I guess they're going to punt it. I thought maybe they might try a field goal with that win. Belfonio is the kicker. He's back at the 50. Line of scrimmage is the 37. 13-10 Kansas with the win. Thatcher is deep. Snap is on the money. Now we have a uh, not delay of the game, so there must be some movement. There were still six seconds on the play clock. So the flags flew, and we'll see what that is. Thrown by the umpire. Uh, they're saying it's against OU. It looks the Kansas players are. Well, let's see what that could be. Foul. Delay of game on the defense for attempting to make the defense false start. That's a five yard. So in case you didn't hear all that with the mic dropping out, the Sooners were penalized on defense for trying to make the offense jump offside, and now that may cause Kansas to try the field goal with the win as they'll penalize them, the Sooners from the 37 back to the 32 in Oklahoma Territory. And it'll be a 49-yard field goal for Joe Garcia. And from this distance, 
He hadn't tried one. He's, he's one for one over 50 yards, though. So this is with the win and a 49-yard field goal for Joe Garcia, who was a thorn in the center side in 1997 as a freshman. Brendan Weir holding. Ball is down. Kicks a line drive. Plenty of distance. And he knocks it through. 49-yard field goal caused by the penalty on the centers on defense. So continue to make mistakes, and it costs them. Timeout at 16-10 Kansas with 11-15 to go before halftime. Well, the Kansas Jayhawks marched down in nine plays, 62 yards from their own six. The Sooners had them in third and long, and they threw a 39-yard pass. Then they had them on a fourth down and 11 at the Oklahoma 37. The defense caused the offense to, or tried to cause the offense to jump offside. Five-yard penalty moved the ball to the 32, and Kansas Joe Garcia knocked through a 49-yard field goal. The Garcia kicking off with the win puts it out of the end zone, and the Sooners will start with their fifth possession from their own 20-yard line. Merv, as painful as it is, Kansas has, uh, has had the upper hand in this game so far. Yeah, they really have, and they've, they've made the Sooners look like they can't get anything going right, especially, well, really either side of the ball. The last two offensive possessions, they've struggled too. But uh, you knew that field goal was going to be good once they stepped off the five yards penalty. I mean, that's the way things have gone so far. You knew they would make it. Sooners in a shotgun from their own 20, traveling into the wind for the first time. Hypo short pass thrown behind Griffin at the 19-yard line. Then the uh, coverage by Andrew Davidson who hit him late. That's a reaction you may have heard from the crowd. But no flag, and it's second down 10 Sooners. From their like own he was expecting the ball. You know, in other words, uh, the last couple of possessions, we've had a drop pass. We've had that play. We've had a couple of linemen get beat on pass pro. It's just, uh, uh, for some reason, they've lost their focus. Josh Norman and uh, yeah. Curtis Fagan wide left. Two wide receivers right, including the tight end. Shotgun, second and 10 for Sooners their own 20. Trailing 16 to 10. Hypo pass up the middle. Complete to Trent Smith at the 23. 25, he fumbles the ball. And Kansas looks like they've recovered at the Oklahoma 26. Uh, that's what the uh, Kansas players are indicating. We perhaps was, maybe Trent Smith got it back at that. He, he just walked out, and now they, they say that Kansas had it. Trent Smith had the ball, but maybe uh, after they had already called it Kansas ball. At any rate, KU recovers the fumble after the catch by Trent Smith at the Oklahoma 26 as the Senators turn it over for the second time today. And more things are not going Oklahoma's way, needless to say. And Coach Stoops is interested in finding out what's going on, uh, Murph. Well, he really is, but not that notwithstanding. Yeah, but he may have, uh, Smith may have picked it up late. That notwithstanding, he shouldn't have fumbled the football. Well, Mark Matthew indicated to us that Trent had a sprained wrist earlier, or slightly sprained. Perhaps that was a factor there, not making an excuse. But Candace from the Oklahoma 26, Dylan Smith is the quarterback. Three wide receivers right, one to the left. Empty backfield, and now Winbush comes from wide left. He'll line up to the right of the uh, quarterback, Dylan Smith. And the fumble, a snap from center, and Dylan Smith falls on it for a loss on the play back to the 32-yard line. So it's a loss from the 26, and the official marks the ball for 31, five-yard loss. So it'll be second and 15 for Kansas at the Oklahoma 31. Jayhawks leading 16 to 10, 10.41 to go in the second quarter. Looks like he just took his eyes off the snap, uh, was looking over to see where his back was located, uh, looked too quickly. Double tied in, Jason Gully and David Hurst, and Tremaine Fulton wide to the right, Harrison Hill wide to the left, double tied in, and one back, that's Win, uh, David Winbush behind quarterback Garcia. Uh, uh, Dylan Smith. Smith fakes the handoff, rolls back to his right. Now we'll run with it. Gets by one soon attacker. Fires a pass. Caught by Harrison Hill. Complete inside the 15 with a 13-yard line. Well, I tell you, this guy can throw the ball. He has a great arm, and he's getting some great wide receiving. We heard they had great receivers, and Harrison Hill grabbed that look like with one hand. It's an awfully good play of him. Uh, the defensive end played it well. He ducked inside and then reloaded and threw a strike. So the game from the 31 to the 13. That's a pickup of uh, 18 yards. And Kansas has their eighth first down at the Oklahoma 13. They're already, already leading 16 to 10. High formation. Quarterback is Donald Smith. Sooners jumping around on defense. Handoff goes to North. Their big fullback. He's stacked up at the line and driven back by Roy Williams and Torrance Marshall. Maybe lose a yard on the plate of the 14. But Kansas has been able to overcome these uh, long yardage situations. Oklahoma 
Did a good job on that particular running play. Now KU has it back at the Oklahoma 14 on a second down 11. They have really made some big plays so far, haven't they? They really have. At just uh, at, at crucial times. Right. This set up by the fumble recovery. Shotgun formation. Norris to the left of Diamond Smith. He's going to run with it. He's tripped up. He fumbles the ball. And the Sooners may have it. Oklahoma, I believe, has it. Oklahoma recovers as the ball was jerked free at the 18. Ramon Richardson made him fumble. And it was recovered, I believe, by Corey Callens. R Ramon Richardson pulled that ball free, I believe. Lost four yards. Uh, the Sooners get the football. Stripped him. Here's the replay on Sooner Vision. They're watching it at the south end zone. There's a great play by Ramon who pulled the ball free. And there's Corey Callens jumping in to recover. Great job by the spotter, Brian Stolte. So the Sooners now maybe get some momentum you here. Bet. That's a big play for the Sooners. They needed that one. Wolfolk and Norman are left. The ball at the 13 in Oklahoma Territory. First and 10 or 18. There's a pass way up for, for Norman. Catches it to 40, 45, 48 yard line. He beat Matt Jordan, the right cornerback, on a perfectly thrown pass by Josh Hypo, which puts the ball from the 18 all the way up to the 48. A 30 yard pass play, and the Sooners have first down, the first one in the second quarter, first down number six in the game. That did give the Sooner offense a little spark, it appeared, at least for that play. 48 yard line, trailing 16 to 10, but on the move, hopefully, from around 48. Shotgun formation, Hypo back to pass, throws, hits Fagan in the flat, 48, 50, he's down to the Kansas 40-yard line, he's down to the 37 on the near side and tackle there. There's a pickup of 15 yards, great blocking for the Sooners. They seem crisper on this possession. Yeah, they really do, they really do. I, I think that, uh, Bob, they have thrown a couple of patterns there that they haven't thrown yet in the ball game, and you now perhaps their coaches uh, uh, saw that uh, those plays might have some success particularly the corner route to Norman. Uh, that's the first corner or flag type route that they've thrown. And of course, what a beautiful throw it was. That was the 30 yard pickup was to Josh Norman and that pass to the near side picked up 15 yards to uh, Curtis uh, Fagan. So the centers have gained 45 yards and two pass plays here, Murph. And well, the, that's the Kansas what player injured is still on the field back at the 45 in o Oklahoma Territory. That's Irvin Holloman who is injured. From the Kansas 37, there's a draw play to Quentin Griffin. He goes to the right side. He crosses the 35, gets to the 34, 33. Chaz Murphy on the uh, tackle, along with uh, Rogers, the backer. And let's see, the play ends. They'll mark it back at the 34, actually downfield from it. Not as many yards gained as it first appeared. Picked up three. Sooners quickly up the line, offset, well down there in the shotgun with two wide receivers to the left and one to the right, two to the right actually with Trent Smith standing up on the right side, the tight end. From the shotgun, back to pass, Eiple, the blitz is on, he throws and completes, he got rid of it just in time. Threw in the area of Quentin Griffin, he was uh, blitzed by Matt Jordan, the corner blitz, and Eiple had to get rid of it. So it's third down play from the Kansas 34, seven yards to go for the first down. They are two of five on third down conversions as Seth Luttrell is in the lineup and he replaces Josh Norman for Oklahoma. Curtis Fagan comes wide right. Trent Smith tied in on the right. Split receiver out to the left is Wolfel. Shotgun with Latrell and Griffin on either side of Josh Heupel from the 34 in Kansas territory. Josh Heupel back to pass throw is caught at the 32. Fighting as Trent Smith gets to the 30 yard line but that's still away from the first down. And it'll be, uh, if they mark it right at the 30, which I believe they will, that's a four-yard pickup, but they needed three more than that. They are, will be fourth and three from the Kansas 30. And Trent Smith, uh, let's go down to Mark Matthew. Mark? Yeah, he got a late hit right in the back, and he is really in pain right now. Had the wind knocked out of him being attended to on the bench. But the center's on fourth down. will go for it with three yards to go from the 30. They need to go to the 27 for the first down. Offset eye, Heupel under center. Anderson the tight end on the right. He replaced Trent Smith who was slightly injured. Kansas jumping around and now a flag throw is, and Heupel, blew, they blew the whistle. There was contact. As Heupel pulled out of there, the flags were flying. It appeared to be sort of a free play for the Sooners, but because there was contact, I guess they stopped the play. Uh, I hope that's what it was. <laughs> I hope one of the Sooner linemen didn't flinch. Uh, they really jumped off over on the left side and uh, left offensive, right offensive, or left. But that was offensive, right, right defense. Yeah, that's whatever occurred occurred before that. 
That's a foul and hold offside on the defense. Caused a false start by the offense. That's a first, first foul. So that play, that's the first time that's worked this year. It worked quite a bit last year as uh, Heupel's a master at that, or at least was a year ago. Yeah, he really is. Uh, the Sooners got in more or less a two-back uh, formation then, and uh, probably was not the formation they'd been in if they'd been going for it, but uh, Kansas didn't see that. And so the penalty moves the ball down to the 25 in KU territory <laughs> after the offside penalty on Kansas, and that gives the Sooners their eighth first down. New life then at the 25. Shotgun formation, wide receivers, two left and two right. Heupel looks to his left, pass complete to Wolfel. Steps his balance at the 15, spins. He's inside the 15. Great balance and a great run down to about the 12. Well, that was something. He almost slipped down once and then regained his balance and did a spinning move and got on the gain from the 25, more than 10 yards, down to the 13-yard line. 12 yards picked up and a heck of a reception. Well, it really was a heck of an effort after reception, but I think it's probably an indication of pretty good blocking for him to have the time to go through all those gymnastics <laughs> and still still make yardage. Ball is at the Kansas 13, first down 10 yards to the O'Sooners, trailing 16-10, 7 8 to go before halftime. The Rex snap on the shotgun to Griffin, around the left side of the 10, spins at the 7, to the 5, to the 2, touchdown Oklahoma! Latrell, oh, Latrell, Bob. Latrell killed that linebacker. He blocked him, and Griffin made a great run. You know, Seth Latrell was given a game ball late last week after they reviewed the film. He played so well in every aspect of that game a week ago, and he played well there, Murray. He's a total package. Plays on all the kicking teams. Uh, first one down on kickoffs. Has got the key assignment on uh, extra point and field goals and uh, punts. 13-yard run by Griffin, his fourth touchdown of the year. Extra point by Duncan, hit the goalpost, went through. <laughs> and the uh, Sooners... Things have picked up. <laughs> Things have picked up. 17-16 <laughs> on a great drive of 82 yards on that drive. A lot of good passing and catching and running. 13-yard pass to Wolfolk. Great run down to the 13. Then Griffin's 13-yard run with a good block from Seth uh, Luttrell and the extra point hitting the goalpost and going through. As you said, things have changed, and the centers are on top by a point. It's amazing, Bob, what happens. Uh, Kansas is getting ready to score, and they fumble, and now the Sooners take it and score in their head. There is Neesmith with the kickoff. He's to the 10, 15, great returner. He's tripped up at the 20 and gets to about the 21. Michael Thompson on the hit, but Neesmith, boy, he's a world-class kickoff returner and a great player, All-American uh, candidate and All-Conference last year. That's Neesmith, who's the safety on defense of returns kickoffs. Ball at the 21, K will take over first and 10 You there. see that wild man every to make a pass at him yeah, on the five. Sure, he did. didn't get him, but he was at the five-yard line. <laughs> All right, first and 10, Kansas. Now Oklahoma back on top, 17-16. Eye formation, tight end on the right. Winbush is at tailback. Norris at fullback. To give to Winbush. Flea flicker. Back it goes to Dylan Smith. He throws a long, long pass upfield for Tremaine. It's intercepted by Ante Jones. A great interception at the last minute. The ball was intended for Tremaine Fulton. Ante leaped in and made a great interception. He played center field. I mean, I, that's one of the great interceptions of all time, I'll tell you. Yeah, it is. The quarterback put way too much air under the ball, Bob. It, it hung up there a long time. Gave Ante a lot of time to cover over there. It's uh, not the same kind of a deep pass he's made so far. He, he left his feet to make that interception. Completely got off his feet to jump right in front of Tremaine Fulton. Now maybe there was automatic first down. celebration penalty against Oklahoma after the interception. They ran down and grabbed uh, Ante as well they should. I, mean, I think that carries things a little too far and this is an editorial comment. But, uh, I mean, these are a little... That's a bad call, Bob. Uh, that penalty should be uh, stepped off when you uh, call attention to yourself. You get out and showboat, that sort of thing. Or when people leave the bench area. When the people are on the field, go congratulate a, paper, a player enthusiastically. That That's not supposed to be called. That's a bad call. I agree with that. He uh, should be. All over the field uh, Bob judge. Stoops is uh, quite upset about that. So the center is leading 17-16, having a great interception, and they have the football at their own 26. Ronaldo works us in for the first time for Oklahoma. Wide receivers deployed, two to the right. That's the wide side of the field. Now man in motion, and now we have a whistle blow. A delay, of snap, game. delay of game on the offense. So that's a penalty marking the Sooners back 
to the 21. We'll bring up first and 15. Don't know what the problem was there, Mark. Bob, I got to think they started the 25 second clock before they stepped the penalty off. There was not that long a period of time between marking the ball and when it was snapped. So the officials are having a little tough time here, it appears. At least I think they are. Me too. <laughs> Offset eye. Trent Smith back in now. There's Heifel on the, the pitch sweep to the right side. Ronaldo works. Tries to cut through two would-be tacklers. He's hit and gets to the 25-yard line. Inside linebacker Marcus Rogers makes the stop. The line of scrimmage was the 21. We'll give him four yards up to the 25 in the center territory and bring up a second down 11. Uh, in the game, Josh Norman for Oklahoma. Four-yard pickup, second 11. 6-16 to go before halftime. Sooners on top, 17-16. Savage wide right, Trent Smith wide right. Two wide receivers left for Oklahoma. Shotgun, Bertram the center. Gets it back to Heifel. Looks to his left. Nobody open. Goes a short pass. Caught at the 25 by Mackey. Mackey's hit hard. Belted down. No gain. Maybe got a yard. Nate Dwyer on the very short completion. Give him a yard to the 26. Bring up third and 10. Kansas, good coverage then, uh, Merv Johnson, because Heifel looked uh, off a couple of receivers. They were both covered. He had pressure from his left side, forced him to reload, and uh, I guess he saw Mikey was open enough to take a chance. Two of six on third down conversions. Griffin and Luttrell into the lineup. They're on either side of Eiffel from the shotgun. Third and ten for Oklahoma from their own 26. Five and a half minutes to go before halftime. Sooners leading by one, 17-16. Mackey is to the left and Savage to the right. Trent Smith is tied in on the right. Back to pass Eiffel. Good protection. Throws a pass. It's on knockdown and almost intercepted. And uh, knocked down by Tim Bowers, who is uh, one of the inside linebackers who went on the coverage. Not sure why the, why the crowd is booing, but uh, Trent Smith got knocked down well after the pass was knocked down. But I, I don't think that's a penalty because, well, it was a little late as we see the, the replay. At any rate, Ferguson comes in to punt the ball for Oklahoma. Oklahoma leading by a point, 17-16, back deep. Twin safety, Ross and Harrison back to receive. Painter is the deep snapper for Oklahoma. He's done a good job. Since Sooner career and gets this one right on the money to Jeff Ferguson. Kicking into the wind. Nice kick into the wind. Harrison takes it at the 23. Backs up. Now goes back to his right. Now he's chased in a great one-on-one -on -one tackle. Rocky Kalmus just swept. So there's a long punt against the wind. 49-yard punt. And minus three on the return, Merv. You can't get much better than no, that. No, and great job by Everidge. Everidge got down there first and forced the uh, return man to have to leave his uh, corridor or his blocking and jump out to the outside, and then Rocky recovered and makes a great play. But Everidge had a big assist on that. Kansas at the 22, first down 10 yards to go. The last time they had the ball, they threw the interception. Shotgun, Dylan Smith is the quarterback. Man in motion is Winbush. Now he comes back to line up in the backfield to the right of Dylan Smith. And there's the handoff to Buen Bush. He goes outside the left end, gets away from one tackler, and is tripped up on a nice uh, tackle again by Rocky Calvis. That'll be a loss of two back to the 20. It'll be second down and 12. Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Stores are proud to be a part of Sooner football. Score big with real ice cream shakes and sundaes, fresh squeezed lemonades, or old-fashioned burgers from Brahms. Ball is at the 20, second down 12, 4.43 to go before halftime, 17-16. Sooner's on top. Wide to the right, two wide receivers for the Kansas Jayhawks, Roger Ross and Tremaine Fulton. Now three out to the right side. No tight end. Back to pass to Donald Smith. He looks, he pump fakes, he's hit just, he throws, and it's caught, but did it hit the ground? Let's see, incomplete. We had the line judge thinking it was complete, but I believe the field judge ruled it hit the ground first. That was very, very close. As, as Donovan Smith was hit just as he threw the ball. And it, he trapped it, looked like, on the replay. So a good call by the official. And and it's a third down 12 for Kansas. Two of five on third down conversions. Break the huddle. Ross and Tremaine Fulton wide right. Winbush comes wide left. Harrison Hill now goes out to the right. So three wide receivers right and one left. Tight end on the left. Shotgun. Donovan Smith gets the... Deep snap, four-man rush, the Sooners chasing, good pressure on him. Now he throws just as, and he completes it to the 35, that's Ross, to the 40, to the 43-yard line. He was wide open on the far side. And Dylan Smith did a great job dodging everybody, finally getting the pass off. Boy, he has an arm, that guy does. That's unbelievable he could uh, see that receiver out there and make such a strong throw. Had people all over him. 
24-yard pass to Roger Ross, who is their leading receiver. And uh, he's the one that uh, caught that 77-yard pass for a touchdown early in the first quarter. He's got 101 yards receiving already. So Kansas with their own, with their own 44 first and 10 after that play. Shotgun formation, Donovan Smith back to pass. He looks, plenty of protection, plenty of protection. Throws near side, and it's intercepted. A great interception on the near side. Brandon Everett jumped in front of, of uh, Harrison Hill, and I have to say this, that was a terrible pass that time yeah. by Donovan Smith. He got lucky a while ago and thought he could make it happen right. again, by him. That was a terrible pass, and yeah. great play by uh, Brandon Everett. And we're going to see the instant uh, replay on the uh, center vision. I think it was a one-handed <laughs> That's exactly what he did, a one-handed interception with the right hand. The crowd cheers the replay. So the Sooners have another pick, this time by Everidge. Great field position at the uh, Kent, at the Oklahoma 49-yard line, shotgun formation. Heupel gets the exchange. Shovel pass, good, at the 48, to the 50s, Griffin, 45, and then a one-on-one -on -one tackle. It's Neesmith, Carl Neesmith, co-captain from Jacksonville Reigns. 18 tackles in two games this year he had coming in. Boy, he's a great, great tackler. Most safeties would not have made that tackle. That's a testimony to how good that guy is, Bob. He, the, all the NFL scouts say he is a sure bet. He's so big. Right. He's 6'3 and 215, a senior, and we're talking about a safety. <laughs> so the ball is at the uh, Kansas 43-yard line, two yards to go, and a third, second down play. Griffin to the 40, has the first down as he picked up three. <laughs> Great play. Griffin really running well, I think, Merv. Don't yes, you? he is. Yes, he is. He's uh, He looks like that uh, he looked toward the end of the year last year, last ball game and today. The 11th first down for Oklahoma, and they have the ball at the 40-yard line in Kansas Territory. First down, 10 yards to go. We have 3.07 to go before the end of the half, and Oklahoma leading 17-16. Now the offset eye, Latrell offset at the fullback, and there's some Pitch sweep. Now the reverse to Savage sweeping left. Has some blocking. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma. On a reverse. Oh, what great blocking on the far side, which was the wide side of the field. Hypo made a great block. I think he did, and I think the left tackle made a great block. I think probably Romero's in there. Boy, what a play that was. That We've not seen that before this year. That was a reverse. And... Uh, as we're seeing the replay, <laughs> Hypo just got Quincy Rowe out of the way with a, with a legal block, and Savage went on in for the 40-yard TD. So the Sooners breathe a bit easier. Second touchdown for Savage on the year. Tim Duncan's extra point sails through the uprights, and Oklahoma leads 23-16, 2.50 to go, 24-16, beg your pardon. Antoine Savage's 40-yard TD run gets the, Sooners, gets the Sooners some breathing room. They lead by eight points, and here's the kickoff. Duncan kicking against the win. He'll put this one five yards deep in the end zone, and Neesmith will touch it back, and Kansas starts at the 20. Boy, he is kicking well. That's, uh, that's the way I think Ken Duncan ought to look every time. He has got a great leg. Uh, he hit that ball just as nice and smooth, and it just carried into that win forever. Sooners have scored three touchdowns and uh, kicked the field goal. And Kansas with the field goal and a couple of touchdowns. Heck of a first half we've had here, 24-16. I think a lot. Kansas not a bad ball club at all. From the 20, KU in the I formation, Dylan Smith. Fakes to Winbush, rolls to his right towards Marshall, chasing him, chasing him, throws the pass, and overthrown and incomplete. Sooners had that so well covered, it's uh, that's the way they that's the way it's dri written up on the board. Well, it really is. I don't know what happened to the defensive end on that side. He disappeared, but uh, Marshall just recovered beautifully, and it was obvious there. Marshall has got probably more foot speed than Smith has, and that's saying something because Dylan Smith is pretty. Uh, Ramon uh, Richardson is in the lineup in place of Ryan Fisher. Can't say enough about Ramon's play today. He's had a great uh, day. All right, Winbush goes wide right. Then three wide receivers left. Fulton, Ross, and Hill. Sound like the law firm. For under center is the quarterback. Change. That's a draw play. Gift to Winbush. Stutter steps his way through the line. Boy, the guy can run. Gets to the 26, and he's down as Corey Heineke makes the stop. That guy has a little... Uh, uh, Quentin Joe Griffin Washington in him, I yeah. tell you. He's, a lot of, he's that side-to-side -side move that Quentin Griffin has. Uh, Bob, it's good to see Corey Klein back out there this entire series. He's got that ankle he had sprained earlier, and I'm sure every once in a while if you come off a sprained angle, you sting it. 
Moran Norris. Uh, Moran Norris is in there at uh, running back now in place of Winbush. Third down four from the Kansas 26. 2.05 to go on, uh, in the first half. Schindler showing blitz. Quick raise up pass caught by Harrison Hill. He'll have the first down across the 30, 35, 40, up to 45, and banged out of bounds into the center uh, bench area at the 49 yard line in Oklahoma Territory. Boy, that was Dylan Smith reading that blitz perfectly. Make a pass to Harrison Hill. He made a good catch and a nice run afterward. And the gain from the Kansas 26, 26 yards, 25 yards exactly to the Oklahoma 49. That's the kind of play Ante Jones has a little trouble with. He tries to hit you so hard, instead of just making a sure tackle, he tries to drill you, and you can elude him. A 25-yard pickup on the pass to Hill. Kansas now shifts their tight end. David Hurst from left to right side. Shotgun from the Oklahoma 49. Fake handoff, down and Smith. Rolls right, moving pocket, fires a pass. Caught by Ross at the Oklahoma 35 and down at the 33-yard line. Roy Williams ended the play, but not before the pickup went from the 49 in Oklahoma Territory down to the 33. Roger Ross, their leading receiver. Everidge uh, saw him and jumped him. He might could have broken it up if he had. So the ball is at the, at the Oklahoma 33-yard line. Kansas doing a uh, move, trying to move for a score. First and 10 at the Oklahoma 33. Fulton in motion from wide left. Handoff goes to North, the big fullback. He's hit in the back by Roy Williams. As big 250-pound uh, Moran Morris from Houston, James Madison. So a timeout is taken by KU. The ball is at the 33 in Oklahoma Territory. And the second 10, 117 to go before halftime. Empty backfield, three wide receivers right, one left. Dylan Smith back to pass. Lob to pass, has a man, but away overthrows him. Intended for Byron Gassaway, who's from Grandview, Missouri. It was all state. He runs the 40 in 4 4, and he outran that pass. Went way over, or the pass outran him. That defense unfolded. Torrance Marshall was out here covering Winbush one on one. I think it probably was a mistake, but uh, I would be surprised if Kansas doesn't try to come back and see if they can get the same mismatch. And here comes Winbush. Winbush coming wide to the left side. He's that speedster halfback. 1-11 to go before halftime. Shotgun, third and 10 from the Oklahoma Smith. The blitz is on. They can't get to him. And the flag is thrown, and now they got him. Corey Callen's got him, but the flag was thrown and may have been holding. And the centers had great coverage downfield, Merv Johnson. They really did. Uh, good pressure. Nobody broke clean, but uh, Smith didn't have time to reload. He got himself in trouble when he did. So now let's see what the... On the offense, penalty is declined. So the centers take the sack as the holding penalty. Eight-yard loss with the sack, and it's fourth down play, and you have to figure they're out of field goal range, and there's 104 to go before halftime. The ball is back at the 42. The eighth sack of the season for Oklahoma, and the first one today. Fourth and 18 from the 41 officially. It looks to me closer to the 42, but officially they're saying call on the Oklahoma 41. Joy Pelfonio is uh, back to punt the ball. Now we have OU timeout. 54 seconds to go before the end of the first half. Their fine kicker, Joy Pelfonio, from El Camino High School in Sacramento. Went to Sacramento Community College. He's averaged 42.4 yards per kick coming in. Playing fourth and 18 from the 41. Pelfonio in punt formation for Kansas. And again, deep to receive for the Sooner. So the Sooners pinned very deep with beat Michigan State 37-17. Georgia, look at that. Uh, beat Arkansas 38-7. In Arkansas. In Arkansas. That's something. I think Arkansas lost their two tailbacks last week. That may have uh, Texas, that. Texas, Oklahoma State 42-7. TCU over Navy 24-0. And A&M leads Texas Tech no, it's for final. the final 33-15. They beat uh, Mike Leach's team. Now let's see what the Sooners do from their own two. They've got to be careful. Hypo... Jumps out to the four. So Heupel, uh, the quarterback keeper, he's done that well this year. The line is protected well for him. 
Ball is at the four-yard line. The Sooners, of course, want the clock to run. They lead by eight points, 24-16, 30 seconds now to go before halftime. Ball at the Oklahoma four-yard line. And uh, two timeouts left for Kansas, one for Oklahoma. But neither team calling them, so the Sooners, I'm sure, will be able to run this out if they take care of the ball. He'll take a knee now as the clock runs. And neither team wants to do anything else. They, neither one wants to call a timeout, so they... And uh, Mackey are the two receiving, and here's the kickoff. Joe Garcia kicking with the win from south to north. Mackey at the goal line. Out to the 5. He's to the 10. Middle of the field, 15, 20. 25 back to his right, the 27. He's still on his feet at the 30. He tries to get outside the 33. He spins at the 35, and he's tackled there in a great run back. Quincy Rowe got him a 35-yard return. Boy, that was impressive to start off. It ran about 100 yards, did Damian Mackey. He claps his hands together, and uh, they're congratulating him on the sideline. Sooners have good field position because of that fine return of 35 yards by Damian. Both returnable kicks, the sooner blocking has been very good on the kickoff returns. You could see creases in space out there, Bob, and uh, sooner or later, if they continue to do that, they'll break one. Kempenick starts at right uh, tackle the second half. Sooners have offset eye. Latrell is offset, and Quentin Griffin the tailback. Under center is Josh Heifel from the 35. Gifted Griffin, straight handoff over right tackle, and picked up three to the 38. Second down, seven for Oklahoma from their own 38-yard line. You know, that, uh, that play, Merv, where you just turn around, hand it off the tailback, you used to see that all the time. And uh, anymore, it's a rare play. <laughs> it really is. In <laughs> fact, uh, this football the last few years, you can't even, uh, in your job, describe a formation, can you? <laughs> the backs line up everywhere. That's exactly right. Tight ends and fullback in the case of Kansas today. Now the center's uh, facing closer to eight on a second down play, giving closer to two yards on that pickup. There's a direct snap on the, or deep snap. To Josh Heifel, he backs up way to the 25, now rolls out of the pocket. back because it appeared that Al Basinger was holding back uh, way back behind the line of scrimmage. Al's got to be a better actor if he's going to hold. He stands there and lets everybody in the crowd know he did it. So the uh, flag was dropped at the 27. Line of scrimmage was the 37. If you mark it off 10 yards from the point of the infraction, it'd be a 20-yard penalty. That's, wow. uh, that's about as big a turnaround as you could have. Having the ball at their 40 or now at your own 15 maybe or 27. On the offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, remain second down. They'll put the ball back at the 20. Wow, that really that's hurt. A, that's a killer. However, I will say this, uh, may may not agree, but I think I think Kansas realized the Sooners were going to be penalized, so they sort of quit on that run by Heifel. Probably wouldn't have got that many yards, but that's speculation. It doesn't make a difference anyway. The ball's at the 20. It is a second and 25 for Oklahoma. Shotgun from their own 20. Heifel fakes the handoff. Now the shovel pass is good to the 20. Josh Norman cuts at the 24 up to the 26. Had 25 he needed and got only six. Sooners have a third down play. About 19 yards to go then. In order to get the end to take him, Josh had to carry that so far outside and make Norman follow him outside. The play wasn't as effective as if you could have gotten turned up to shoot quicker. John Culp, the defensive end from Rock Hill, South Carolina, was 21 last Wednesday, made that tackle. Third and 19 at the 26 in Oklahoma Territory. Sooners leading 24-16, just underway, third period. Two wide receivers left, one right. Wide side of the field is to the Sooners left. And on third down conversions, two of seven. Four-man rush, Heupel, plenty of time. Can't find anybody open, though. Now he runs with it. Steps up in the pocket, runs left. Now throws a pass. Has a man at the 35. Back at the 40. Back into the 43-yard line. But he didn't get the first down. Needed 19 and got about 17. Well, Heupel did a great job finding anyone open that time, and Mackey did a good job getting open, but uh, they'll mark the 42, so he's three yards shy. Fourth down and three for Oklahoma. And so from the opening kickoff of the second half, they'll be forced to punt it away against the wind. It's about 20 yards of field position involved there, Bob. So that was a great play, even if it didn't get a first down. Right. Back deep is uh, to receive will be Harrison Hill and Roger Ross. Painter is the deep snapper on a fourth down play from the Oklahoma 42. And the shot. That's the oh, tell you. <laughs> and Spake, and he goes over the left side for the first down. Seth Luttrell got the direct snap and went to the 46, picking up. 
from the 42 to the 46. Boy, that was a gamble, Coach. I want to tell you, that was a gamble. I thought they'd do that, Bob. They've worked on it hard this week, and I think that's the one purpose that spreading the formation out. It leaves so few men in there that if they line up with a gap, Latrell, who calls the signals, can take that gap. And yeah. they give him the green light or they don't give him the green light, and uh, he saw it and took it. I thought that was going to happen then. Wow, wow. That was impressive. Just a direct snap to the blocker, the up back, in other words, Seth Latrell, and the Sooners have the first down. So now they have it thrown 46. Wow, what a play. Now on the shotgun formation, Heifel gives the ball to Griffin. Left tackle, that's where he goes, and that's where he stays. Boy, they stuck him. Yeah, they killed Burcham on that play. Carried him right out into the hole. And it's no game. Second down 10 for Oklahoma. Du uh, Nate Dwyer on the tackle. He's 22 today. Today's his birthday, and he's played pretty well. He's from Stillwater, Minnesota. Nate Dwyer, returning starter, real strong guy. He's a 300-plus pound guy that made a big play about three plays ago over on our right side. He's, uh, he's a load when he takes off one side or the other. Second and 10, then, from the Oklahoma 46. Shotgun formation. Heupel backs up three steps. Well, fires a pass way underthrown. Might have been tipped. It, it was tipped. Umpire showing Culp, I think, deflected it. He's 6'5", so he's the type of guy that would tip it. Intended for uh, Woolfolk. And it's third down 10 from the Oklahoma 46. So they picked up that first down. Now let's see if they can do something with it on third down here. They picked up that first down on a fourth and four and gambled and did it. But the ball hadn't moved forward since that time. Latrell to the left of Heifel from the shotgun. Three wide receivers left. That's the short side of the field. And Matt Anderson's in the stand-up position on the right. Uh, he goes inside to do some blocking. Lines up along the uh, line of scrimmage. Five-man rush. Blitzes on. Heifel barely gets it away, and it's incomplete. Well, he was hit hard. Knocked down uh, by that defensive uh, end, I believe it was. Denard Whitfield really got him right as he threw the ball. So the Sooners got that first down a minute ago, but for naught, as it's fourth down play, as they uh, couldn't move the, an inch after that. And they'll pump the ball away for sure this time. Ferguson is back to kick the ball. He had a great first half kicking. Waiting for the snap. Ball is down. Here's the, or the back to him, and here's the kick underway. Not a very long kick. Roger Ross takes it at the 13 yard, makes it a great tackle. Brandon Everett's like a rocket in there, as Merv Johnson has said many times. And the rocket hit the, <laughs> the mark that time, tackled him at the 11. Actually, about a two yard loss on the punt. Dylan Smith under center, one back behind him, two wide receivers left, one to the right. Dylan Smith waves up, fakes a pass, pump fake, then he throws a long, long pass downfield, double coverage. And J.T. Thatcher intercepts, I believe, at the 33-yard line. It's the fourth interception of the year for him and his second of the day. Intended for Harrison Hill. Double coverage that time, Merv. He pumped fake to the short receiver, then threw very, very deep to Harrison Hill, but Thatcher turned around and made the interception. He and the corner were back. I think probably they visited a little bit about that at halftime, don't you? Derek Strait and Thatcher are on the coverage. Fourth interception of the day for Kansas against Kansas, we should say, and uh, the Sooners have benefited obviously from that, and they had to do this time. They have the ball thrown 33. Pitch goes Ronaldo works sweeping the right side 35, 40, 45. Jumps up to the 46 even. Boy, he has good speed, Murr. He really does. He and he's uh, a big guy, but he he gets up ahead of steam. He's hard to stop. 13 yards picked up from the Oklahoma 33 to the Oklahoma 46. Power sweeper right side is what that was for 13 yards for Ronaldo. Had one carry in the first half, but I bet he has more than that in that second half. Griffin is now in replacing him, however, at the Oklahoma 46. That's first down number 14 for Oklahoma. Shotgun, hypo back, shovel pass. 43 Griffin, 50, goes to his left. 45, cuts to his left, the 40, 35, 30. He's at the 25 and can't get by the last guy. He was trying to cut, had a blocker in front of him and uh, got all the way to the 34 yards on a great shovel pass and run by Griffin. He was looking for a passing lane, wasn't he? <laughs> He's <laughs> swerving one side and the other. Uh, really a nice play at that particular time. He, uh, so there's the, the two running backs. Works picks up 13 and Griffin picks up 34 on a shovel pass. 
Sooners, 15th first down, first down, 10 yards to go. Offset eye formation, hand off to Griffin, coming to the right side, 20, back to his left, and bumped down hard at about the 17. Griffin is not a big guy, he's only about five, six, or seven, and he kind of bumps around like a uh, pinball sometimes, but he, he maintains his balance amazingly. They're gonna give him the 16, a four yard pickup. So the Sooners have second down play six from the Kansas 16 yard line. Josh Norman in the lineup replacing Latrell. So Damian Mackey and Josh Norman are wide left. Two wide receivers to the right. Anderson and Savage, I believe that is. Shotgun, Heupel, little shovel pass. Good to work, but these tackle right in the middle. Went to the well once too often. Marcus Rogers waiting for it, and tackle works immediately when he got the shovel pass right at the line of scrimmage. But if he had gotten by <laughs> Marcus Rogers, he would have been gone, but Rogers did his job. I got to think somebody is supposed to release out and pick Rogers up. It sure looked like there was a big hole in there. I thought the, when I saw him do it, it was a great call. There was so much daylight in there before the snap. And Latrell replaces Ronaldo Works in there to block, I suppose, on a third down play from the 16. Two of nine on third down cards. Heifel fumbles the snap, and he'll be sacked. He'll be tackled back at the 22. That Looked like he looked up there, Merv. Took his eye off of which you don't see Josh do very often. He knew there was a blitz coming late, uh, and he knew he probably didn't have anybody in the back eyes off the ball. I bet you that's what happened because the quarterback knows, in Heifel's case, he knows where an unblocked man is if they blitz always. And he's usually got a, you know, he's got a way he can get rid of the ball when that happens. 39 yarder, he's 0 for 1, or 1 from 1 from that distance. Ball is down. This is against the wind. Long enough. Good. He hit it against the wind. Tim Duncan, yard field goal. So the centers get three out of it anyway, and that's uh, 20. I think that 30 to 16 now the score goes. Second place to the IAC and third place to the Housing Center Student Association. Kickoff from that same Tim Duncan against the wind. He blasts that one down into the end zone. Another great kick. That's about nine yards deep in the end zone against the wind. Merv. Just puts another exclamation point by his fine kicking today. He's he's hitting the ball as good as I've ever seen him uh, on those kickoffs. He really is. I think he's like a lot of kickers. He gets a little bit too uh, worried about the wind sometimes. And it seems that today, both the field goal and his kickoffs into the wind, he has just looked great. He's got such a good leg, you know. If he just strikes the ball properly, that should happen. Kansas has the eye formation now. First and 10 from their own 20, trailing by 11, 27-16. Wide receivers to the left and right, tied in on the left. Option play, first time we've seen it. Pitches to Winbush, sweeping the right side, and Torrance Marshall corrals him on the far side. Ball fumbled, but uh, he was on the ground at the 23 or 4 yard line over there. Mark it to 24. One 15-minute phone call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Call 1-800-947-AUTO. GEICO Direct, the sensible alternative. And Sooner Football is uh, brought to you today by Southwestern Bell, a member of the SBC Global Network. Three wide receivers, no tight end, two to the left, one to the right. Shotgun from the 24 in KU territory. Back pass in the flat, caught by Fulton, and then hit immediately by Roy Williams. A loss on the play on the completed pass. That was a flame ups. Roy Williams was right there to greet Kermaine Fulton. Has 10 career TD catches, Fulton does. He's a good receiver. An ankle injury a year ago. He was right there, and boom, Roy Williams nailed him. Uh, three yard loss officially, and brings up third down play, nine yards still for first down. That's the first time they haven't thrown it to either Hill or Ross. <laughs> Two wide receivers to the right, four of eight on third down conversion. Sooners with a three man line. Well, actually four man, but there's a fake handoff. That is Smith is in. It's knocked down immediately by Roy Williams, who came from the left side that time. He really, a Donald Smith gets uh, sacked for the second time today, and he was upended that time, Merv. He really was. They uh, had the strong safety blitz on, and nobody ever adjusted to pick him up. Uh, they had a couple of people that Mike could have. The center defense has really picked up here, Merv. Twice now, Kansas is three and out. Actually, first time the interception. So they uh, intercepted and then three and out there. Hopefully, the, uh, with the wind with Kansas, it's nice to get them three and out, too, with it to their backs. See what happens here, kicking with the wind. It's a fake, and sweeping the left side of the 20, 25, 30, 35, and out of bounds up at the 43-yard line. Brandon Weir, who is the holder, a defensive back by trade, and Kansas gives the Sooners a bit of their own medicine. And uh, back to kick, Michael. injured. 
right in front of the center bench, so that did not work out at all. It was a fourth down play from the 16, and it appeared Kansas was in trouble, and the Sooners had the momentum, and they were having to punt it away, and the up man got the snap and swept to the left side, and it is J.T. Thatcher. Thatcher injured, I believe. Let's go down to Mark Matthew. Absolutely, Bob. It's J.T. Thatcher, not Michael Thompson. 15 and 19 sometimes look a lot alike, and J.T.'s being talked to here. He's lying on his stomach right here. Kansas from their own 42 after that gain on the fake play. From the 16 after the 42, first and 10, shotgun, Dylan Smith retreats, rolls to his right, looks back to his left, throws a long, but has a man wide, wide open. Harrison Neal can't get it at the nine yard line. He was 10, 15 yards back of Derek Strait. And the pass just simply overthrown. Too much wind maybe sailed it. But <laughs> I'll tell you, that was really, really embarrassing. As far as, you know, that's, that's who in the world would ever want to play defensive back? I mean, it's so obvious to everyone when something happens like that. <laughs> oh, Man. mercy. I tell you, you know, they try to get them to be train killers, come up and strike everything, right. and uh, sometimes they just, by golly, won't stay back. Got to stay back. Michael Thompson steps into the lineup. Nickel back in there. Second and 10 from the 42 in Kansas Territory. Their own 42 man in motion toward the formation. Dylan Smith back to pass. He's being chased out of the pocket. Pressure on him, and his flag is down, and he tackled for a loss back inside the 35, Rocky Calvis. Boy, they had him going every way, trying to get free. Sooners put great pressure on. I think Kansas guilty of holding as well, Merv. That was great defense. Well, it really was. Dan the, Cody might have been in there, too. The defensive left end that may be Cody out there did a great job of maintaining containment. That's what you got to do. You got to keep this guy the in has got a shot at Brings it. We got to work on that microphone for John Bible. It's cutting out badly. It's declined. At anyway, end. they declined the holding penalty because the sack was a 10-yard loss back to the 32. So it brings the third sack of the day and Candace had not been, uh, had their quarterback sacked all year. 27-16 Sooners lead. Ball at the Candace 32 where it's 20 yards to go on a third down play. And Ross and Jermaine Fulton wide right and wide left is uh, Moran Norris, that big old fullback. Uh, wide left, empty backfield. Diamond Smith looks at the backfield and they sacked him again. Cody got him that time. Dan Cody, who is from Ada, America, at All-State there, 18 6 4 2 30. give him credit. You, you remember that move last year against Oklahoma State, Bob? Every time they went empty or no backs, the Sooners brought both outside linebackers. That's what they've done here the last couple of times that's happened. They and can't block them all. Nine-yard loss there, so that brings up a fourth down and 29. Let's see if they gamble here. <laughs> that was a little snide remark. Wasn't it? Fourth down play from the 23. Kansas has their kicker in punt formation. Palafenio. Palif <laughs> And he gets the kick underway, almost blocked. That's what the crowd oohed and awed about. Hits it to Oklahoma 35. Thatcher takes it at the 25. That's Mackey. Mackey at the 30. Mackey trying to dodge players. Gets the 35 and is tackled at the 39. Thatcher was shaken up, so he was not back receiving. And that was Damian Mackey who caught it at the, uh, and as we look downfield, he caught it at about the 30-yard line and got nine yards on the return. 52-yard punt for uh, Pelfanio. Their fine kicker, Joy Pelfanio, who is 23-6-1-2-10, senior from Sacramento, California. He's the uh, top returning punter in the Big 12, by the way. And he showed it there, 51-yarder. Defensive safety is up, and he's walking off under his own power. So the Sooners take over, Merv, in pretty good field position at their own 39, leading by 11, 434. And then two great sacks. Ronaldo Works is in the backfield for Oklahoma. Two wide receivers to both sides, shotgun, and Works to the right. Of he lobs a pass downfield, has a man, Josh Norman, caught the 38 in Kansas territory, crossed the 30, crossed the 25, and gets to the 22-yard line. Matt Jordan was dragged about five yards by Josh Norman, who's made two sensational catches today. Off of two sensational throws, Bob. That couldn't have been any more perfectly thrown, and uh, probably the best thing Norman did is get behind that guy as far as he did. He did something to create some space back there. That was uh, the Josh combination. Josh Heifel Josh, to Josh. Josh Norman. They're roommates, Bob. They are. Oh, you're you know joshing that. me. No, I wouldn't josh you. <laughs> oh, boy, it's getting bad. You always come back on top, <laughs> don't you? All right, the uh, first and 10 then from the 22 in Kansas Territory. Under center is Heifel. Gets the exchange, goes back, pretty good protection. Lobs a pass far side, uh, incomplete at the goal line. Seth Luttrell was 
for whom the pass was intended. First time they've thrown to him today, but it looked like he actually had double coverage. They uh, weren't fooled at all. They tried to slip him out and get somebody, maybe go to sleep, a linebacker, and uh, let him get open, and uh, they weren't fooled at all. Here comes Danny and Mackey into the lineup, replacing Luttrell with 4.06 to go third period. Sooners on top by 11, 27, 16. Oklahoma's won 10 home games in a row. Trying to make it 11. Two wide receivers to both sides. Shotgun, Heifel blitzes on. Heifel lobs a pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Woeful, great pass and a right in his hands. Nine yards deep in the end zone, TD. You see Josh stand in there and take the shot from the unblocked defensive back. Wow. He stood there and took it and made the throw. And the guy that was burned on the play was Kareem High, who's probably at a low right now. After being beaten on the play, great throw, 22-yard pass just floated in there. He wasn't beaten that badly. No, he really wasn't. It was just a perfect pass, perfect touch. And that nine yards deep in the end zone, you only got one more yard to go, That's and you're out exactly of the end zone. Right. That's where he made the catch. Here's the extra point at the south end zone. Snap, ball down, kick in the air. Duncan knocks it through. Timeout. And it's 3.59 to go. 34-16 Oklahoma in the third period, that is. This is the Oklahoma Center Network. Oklahoma 34, Kansas 16. A recap of the Sooner scoring drive. It covered 61 yards, taking three plays, lasting 35 seconds, and was capped by a 22-yard touchdown pass from Heupel to Wolfolk. Funny and then upended by Damian Mackey at the 20-yard line. Damian Mackey and Jimmy Wilkerson, the linebacker from Omaha, Texas. Mackey's kind of everywhere, isn't he? He is. He He's certainly is. Returning punts, covering kickoffs, catching balls. Sooner football brought to you by Train and your Train dealers. Train offers heating and air conditioning products for every size home and every size budget. It's hard to stop a train. Kansas first and 10 from their own 20. Now Oklahoma going with the nickel back. In other words, an extra defensive back. Five backs in there. Stephens out of the lineup. So they take a linebacker out, put a defensive back in. KU under center, one back behind Winbush, and we haven't heard from here. It's the middle of the line, spins free for the sign of Everidge, who appears to be shaking up on the play. Uh, Brandon Everidge, you've got to give him credit, Merv. He's playing hurt today. That's, I think that's just kind of part of the way Brandon plays. I, I think he's all right. He's kind of banged up. As hard as he hits people, he's always going to be sore. So and now here's the, hey, J.T. Thatcher checking back in. That's good news. He was the one that was checking up earlier. That was a six-yard pickup there with a nice run by Winbush. And it's second down play and four from Kansas' 26-yard line. Then the shotgun this time. Dylan Smith finds a hole in the middle. Great move at the 28. Crosses the 30. And then J.T. Thatcher gets him at the 35. Boy, that guy can stop and go. Great move on Calmus that time. That Winbush, a little scary in the murder. He's quick as a hiccup. He really is. You don't see Rocky miss him like that. Very often, there are not many that he will miss. Fernander is in for the first time today. The ball at the 35, actually, although the length of the football upfield from it in Kansas territory. First down, number 13 for them. Shotgun formation. Five men on that line now for Oklahoma. Man in motion, wide right, coming toward the formation. Back to pass is uh, Smith. Throw way overthrown. Well, that was a bullet. That could have gone all the way to uh, Lex. Roger Ross. Winbush blocking on the play, and it's second down and 10 for Kansas from their own 35-yard line. Did you know that Big 12 fans think the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl is the favorite destination of the conference bowl contests? Well, cast your vote on the latest Big 12 Southwestern Bell online poll, and we'll give you the league's website in just a moment. 
Here's Kansas from their own 35-yard line. Man in motion is Ross toward the formation. Shotgun. Donald Smith retreats, has plenty of time, throws a pass, intercepted by Thatcher at the 40, and he's hit and down at the 35. Kansas would, uh, was guilty of holding, it appeared, a flag dropped, so Thatcher apparently will pick off still another interception. And that's the fifth one today, and I believe his third, Thatcher's third interception. Fifth on the year for Thatcher, a third today. It was holding, KU refused. Sooners take it over on the pick. This is a great interception, Burr, as we're seeing it on Sooner Vision. He one-hands that. Ball was behind the receiver. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, what we said earlier, though. Make him throw those kind of routes. He doesn't throw those that well. He throws them too hard, but you let him throw deep, you better be back here with him. He is really good on the deep ball. Yeah. You mentioned Oklahoma was lucky on that one a minute ago. They certainly were. Oh, man. The guy was way behind. The be a whole lot different complexion on things right now. The new guys out left, three guys out right. Kansas doesn't exactly know how to handle it. And it's uh, the ninja formation. The Sooners shift a bit, <laughs> and the flag is really messed up deal there. Latrell tried to shift to the other side. He was in motion, and Savage was in motion. Uh, Kansas, he caught the ball, Kelly and the... Uh, on the offense, two men in motion, didn't get set before the snap. Penalty is refused, second... So the lock... Now we know. We <laughs> might, they're going to they're gonna do it again, though. 40-yard line. After a loss of five, it's second and 15. Run the draws with the... There's a shovel pass. That's just a roll. That's a draw. Goes down the middle. That's a, that's they, they got too many <laughs> men out on the people out wide now. See, they've only got about Pass to, to uh, Latrell, who just ran down the middle and got from the 40 to the 34. So it's now a third down play, nine. Nine yards uh, from need to go from the uh, 34 down to the 25 for the first down. That's nine. Now the regular formation, so to speak. Shotgun, Heupel gets the snap. He looks, he fires a pass, it's caught by Mackey, and he leans in for the first down across the 25. Oh, and the flag is thrown, late flag, way after the play, and, and uh, Nate, Nate oh, personal foul on the defense. And that's uh, yard Nate Dwyer, who showed a little frustration there, and uh, got hooked up with Howard Duncan, and that's going to hook a penalty on Kansas as they lose their poise a little bit. Yeah, well, they sure did. I, uh, you know, didn't see the start of that or what might have triggered that, but uh, the, the guy that pushes last is always the one that gets caught. Right. We were mentioning a moment ago the uh, Big 12's website, www.big12sports.com, a message provided by the Big 12 Conference. Vote your favorite conference bowl. There's an action, tries to go back to his left after going to his right and will lose some yardage. As Victor Bullock, offensive linebacker on the outside, or defensive linebacker on the outside, uh, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, three-year Letterman loses uh, five yards for works from the 12. Well, they're going to call it uh, back to the 18. That was uh, Hypo getting the ball, pitching it to works. He tried to go right, came back to his left, and was tackled by Bullock. Griffin replaces works. The ball is at the 18, and it is a second down 16 for Oklahoma. They need to go to the two for the first down. From the shotgun, Heupel, back to pass. Lobs a pass for the end zone, just overthrow. Incomplete in the end zone, and that was intended for Savage. Good contact by Andrew Davidson, the cornerback, but no flags, and it brings up a third down and 16 from the Kansas 18, with 50 seconds to go third period. Interesting to, to note, Merv, that a lot of the points have been scored by these teams going against the wind today. Isn't that amazing how sometimes it works out that way? I don't know. What causes that? Maybe you try different things uh, with the wind, trying to happen, make it happen too fast. All right, this is a big play as far as the Sooners are concerned because they'll no doubt try the field goal if they don't make the first down here. they got 16 yards to go on the third down play. Heupel drops straight back, fires a pass. It's deflected. Nice defensive play at the eighth. Knocked away. Intended for Savage and Andrew Davidson knocked it away, so the Sooner field goal unit comes in. So the Sooners... Uh, Got the interception from Thatcher. Got a pass to the 25 plus a penalty. Looked like they were going to go in from the 12, but Works was thrown for a loss back to the 18, and the Sooners couldn't convert on two pass plays, and now it'll be field goal time, 35 yards. He's two for two from this distance, at a 37-yarder and a 39-yarder. This against the wind, as was the 39-yarder. Ball is down, Patrick Fletcher's hold. Certainly long enough, but this is no good. It veers to the left, and uh, Duncan is upset with himself. The 35-yard field goal is no good. And we'll keep it right here. 
So it's 34-16 uh, remains the score. Oklahoma on top of Kansas. And we're in the third period with 41 seconds to go before the end of period number three. Sooner football brought to you by State Farm Insurance and the State Farm agents throughout Oklahoma. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, Kansas, with their fourth possession, have not done very much, Merv, here in the second half. They picked up one first down. We'll make that two first downs as we recheck our statistics. And they have no points here in the second half. Ball is at their own 20. Here we go. Shotgun, Dylan Smith. Hands the ball off. That's Norris, the big fullback. Lumbers his way up to the 25. Gets a five. run for a big man. You see him pick his feet up uh, over a couple of those tackles and step through there. And he is a big active athlete for uh, such a big fullback. He was all district and all city, and uh, he will graduate in December. He's a fine student. Redshirted in nine, as we said a couple times today, number one, rated by the fullback in the country in college football by the NFL Combine. At the 25, second down, five for KU at their own 25. Five seconds to go third period. Two seconds to go third period. Snap from the shotgun. Again, Norris, same play. Right as he gets the line of scrimmage. And there's the end of the third period. Got a couple of yards is all. So we'll be back with the fourth quarter coming up as Oklahoma leads Kansas 34-16 after three on this home. Lucky the OGE power play of the game today. It's that 40-yard reverse. And here's the way back. And here's the pitch sweep. Now the reverse to Savage sweeping left. Has some blocking. He's at the 35. He's at the 35. Touchdown, Oklahoma. On a reverse. He had it indeed. And that's the uh, og &E power play of the game. og &E power at the speed of life. Period from the 28. Two yards to go for a first down. They're in the I formation. Center shifting a bit on defense. Tight end left. For a handoff to Norris. He's hitting the backfield. He's hit that big 250-pounder gets all the way up to the 36-yard line. And 11 for well, uh, uh, an eight-yard pickup, we should say. Wow. They can't bring him down. He's a big guy. You have a feeling if can they wouldn't score very quickly. Good at not going down the tackle around his legs for as big as he is. Ball is at the 36. Picked up about the eight yards we set on the play. Wide left. Harrison Hill wide right. Tight end. David Hurst shifting. Direct snap on the... Uh, there's a pass caught at the Oklahoma 43. Harrison Hill and down immediately by Derek's bullet. And wide open are actually coming back to Oklahoma territory. 20 yards downfield to the Oklahoma 40... Well, 21 yards to the 43. One-yard pass to Harrison Hill. Kansas has two first downs as they show their offense uh, for the first time in the second half here in the fourth period. Going against the wind again. The ball at the Oklahoma 43. Oklahoma have five defensive backs in their shotgun formation. From the Sooner 43, first and 10. Fake handoff. Diamond Smith looks left. Now he'll run with it. Now he'll be sacked. And he leans forward. He's sacked. He'll lose three back at the 46 for the sack. That's the fourth or fifth sack of the day. Terry McLemore gives us our stats. After three quarters, uh, it was Oklahoma 19 first downs, Kansas 13. 81 yards rushing for Oklahoma, 290 passing, 371 yards total offense. Kansas 98 yards rushing, 213 passing, 311 total offense. Sooners one fumble lost Kansas, five interceptions and one fumble, six turnovers. All right, the ball back at the 47 is where they put it. It is second down and 14. Dylan Smith from the shotgun rolls left. He's being chased by Ramon Richardson, who sacks him way back in the Kansas territory, back inside the 40. Boy, Ramon Richardson, what a game he's had on defense. Well, he really has, and if you watch the replay, give Cody a huge assist. Cody kept him contained. Turned him back into Richardson. See number 80. 13. And the ball is in, ends up at the 40. In line of scrimmage had been the 47 in Oklahoma territory. So it is a third down play and 27 for Kansas. 5 of 11 on third down conversion. Sooners still have five defensive backs in there. Four man rush showing blitz. Roy Williams coming from the one side, but they pick up the block pass is completed, and Brandon Average makes the tackle on Harrison Hill, but a very short gain, about three yards picked up, and Kansas apparently. Sooners uh, really showing good defense against Kansas uh, in this game in the second half and late in the first half, really. They've caused some very effective blitzes, haven't they? they, they have. they've, uh, they've given them a lot of negative yardage. They, uh, I look up at the scoreboard, and uh, every time I look up there, it seems they've moved their yardage total in the rush back. Belfonio back to kick. Th J.T. Thacker, Thatcher is back to receive, and this is a attempted by 
Wolf hook, but he couldn't get it. The kick is underway. Thatcher takes it at the 15 to his left, back to his right at the 19, in heavy traffic to the 20. 42-yard punt, 5-yard return by J.T. Thatcher, and we have a timeout. First and 10 Sooners from the 21. From the 21, plenty of time. Crossing pattern, beautiful catch at the 23, 25, 30, 35, 40, faking up the sideline, 50, tight ropes, and steps out of bounds. At the 48, I tell you, he made a great catch because the pass from Heupel was out in front of him, but Fagan just ran hard, great effort, corralled the ball in, and a gain of 32 yards from the... He literally jumped out of the ground. He just came out of a pack here, and there wasn't anybody around him. What a catch. Well, that Hypo went over 300 yards passing. The ball is at the Kansas 48. Sooners have first down number 20. Griffin from the backfield. Josh Norman in motion. Hand off to Norman, but they will stop play. Sooners have a procedure penalty. As somebody raised up. Five-yard penalty. Burr, the uh, amazing statistic you just mentioned about sacks. And Kansas had not been sacked all year. Hadn't been sacked all year. That's exactly right. Uh, I hope it doesn't get any weirder from <laughs> here on. There's been some crazy things happening at halftime. I'm sure you mentioned it, that they were averaging 31 yards of completion. Right, we did mention that. They've been two fake punts that have been successful. Uh, Sooners ran a reverse for a touchdown. It's, it's a weird game. From the 47 now in Oklahoma Territory, first and 15, shotgun formation. Heupel, pass caught by Griffin at the 45 in Sooner Territory. He's to the 50. He's wrapped up uh, down in Kansas Territory, and he's down. No, he's not. And a fumble the ball, and they gave it to Kansas at the 45. He was trying to get paired. He was down. Officials right there at the 45. So this is another weird happening there. It really is. It. Uh, I thought he was down, too. I guess he wasn't, but uh, you certainly got the impression. I think he was down. His was left knee was down a long time. It's a bad call. Well, they've had several bad calls today. Yeah, they at least really it, have. at least by my account. Well, they have. I mean, it's just uh, uh, we all make mistakes. I know that for anybody, but officials certainly no exception. They've not had a real good day today. Kansas 45-yard line, two wide receivers right. They're at their own 45. Diamond Smith is the quarterback in shotgun formation. Tight end shifts to tight end on the right side. He hands the ball off. Winbush coming to the right. They pursue and they tackle him. Torrance Marshall with great speed gets him after a pickup of a yard, maybe two, on the sweep to the right side. David Winbush is from three-year Letterman from Colleen, Texas. He is uh, has a tremendous uh, vertical jump ability, 39.5 inches, best on the team. He's a two pickup of a yard, second down play nine for Kansas in their own 46. Hill wide right, Fulton and Ross wide left. Tight end on the right is Jason Gully. Nice shift to the left side. Winbush is behind Dylan Smith. Gets the handoff. Winbush going outside, right side, and gets up across the 50 down into Oklahoma Territory. In Oklahoma Territory. Crowd hadn't forgot that bad call. <laughs> They're still working on the officials, and they, they move that ball back now to the uh, 49. Appeared he got down to about 47, but they're marking it at the Oklahoma 49. So a pickup of about five and brings up third down play and four. You think the crowd five influenced that spot? I'm sorry? You think the crowd influenced that spot down might, a little? They might influence <laughs> that a little bit. Third down play and four for Kansas from the Oklahoma 49. Under center is Dylan Smith up. Nobody there. Now he lobs a pass downfield for Harrison Hill. Throw, throw it away and Kansas makes his fourth down. They got him a little goosey back there. He, he didn't want to be sacked yeah. and he fired that into the uh, cheap seats. And so it's fourth down play in Kansas in punt formation. They earlier, you remember from their own deep in their own territory in a fourth and long, tried a trick play and it picked up big yardage and they got the first down. That was uh, on a play 14 yards to go on fourth down. They picked it up. I don't imagine they'll try that again, but the Sooners will be aware, I'm sure. Thatcher back to receive the kick from their kicker, Pelfanio. And here is the kick. And he shanked it, too. <laughs> Crowd got their revenge, didn't they? They did. Because he's a good punter. He's a great punter. Nine-yard punt. That's going to hurt his average. Ball is at the 40 in Oklahoma Territory. That, that is another unusual happening here. It is. That's a manning punter like that to miss a ball that badly. That wind is not that bad. And the ball is at the Oklahoma 40. First down, 10 yards to go. Hadn't gotten a smell of that goal line here in the second half. Gun. 
Ronaldo works, gets the handoff from Heupel, goes to his right. Now he cuts up field. Not much there for him. Gets a couple of yards. In Oklahoma City, it's the Waterford Marriott Hotel. You'll find exceptional four diamond accommodations, outstanding food and drinks. The Waterford Marriott Hotel is the perfect place for your next business trip, business meeting, or weekend getaway. It's simply the best place in Oklahoma City. Located in the exclusive Nichols Hills area, 548-4782. A little surprised on that play. I thought Hypo would audible to something else. It's kind of like the sweep down near the goal line where they lost yardage a while ago. He kind of was going into a stack deck with that play. From the 43 after the three-yard pickup by Work, second down seven from the Oklahoma 43. Hypo from the shotgun, looks to his right, pass caught by the trail, 45-50, and jumps across the 50 and gets the first down. I tell you, if you need a first down, you get it to the trail. Some way you'll find a way yeah. to get it most times. He is a foxholder, Bob. He, it's whatever it takes. He'll get it done. So the completed swing pass out to the right. Picks up uh, nine yards and a first down. And Oklahoma has their 21st first down at the Kansas 48, leading 34-16 with 9.09 to go in the fourth period. Ronaldo works in the lineup for Oklahoma. Seth Luttrell is out. Frank Romero at left tackle. Scott Kempenick at right tackle. The reason we mention that is they have not been the setup since we started the game. Well, draw play, gives the ball off to Works, retreats way back to the 43, and Oklahoma Territory is chased out of bounds. He'll lose a bunch of yards. And that, to me, I'll say this, Merv's not saying it, I'll say it, that, that's kind of a freshman run there. He, you know, you, you do that in high school and get away with it. At this level, most of the times you're going to go into uh, lose yardage, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, college linemen, as we've seen with Marshall and Kalmus, and linebackers run faster than a lot of running backs, and there's no percentage in that. Sooners are in a little bit of a bind. They'd like to run some clock here, but Kansas gives them such a strong defensive front that they're about going to have to throw on them. So it's uh, 17 yards to go from the Oklahoma 45 on a second down play. Shotgun, Heupel, four-man rush, complete to Savage, a Wolfolk at the 50 and down to the 46 in Kansas territory. For his tackle on the play, Mar Marcus Rogers needed 17 and got about nine. A third down play and eight yards to go. Had two crossing receivers, Matt Anderson and Wolfolk, right there. And I'd like to see him throw it to Anton Wolfolk. He made a marvelous effort just to get about uh, seven or eight yards. Need to go down to the 38, have the ball at the 46. Three of 12 on third down conversion. Sooners at the Kansas 46. Shotgun. Three wide receivers. And now the delay of game penalty as the Sooners take too much time. All the snap. Delay of game on the offense. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. The ball will be moved back to the Oklahoma 49. 13 yards to go then on a third down play. Eight minutes exactly to go in this game, and the center's on top 34-16. But we've not had nearly as much scoring as we had in the first half. Center football brought to you by Sprint. It's not just about how far technology can take us. It's about how close it can keep us. Isn't that the point of contact? The ball at the 49 center territory. They need to go. 13 yards down to the 38 in Kansas territory. And let's see what happens. Back to pass. Heupel rolls left. Looks. Fires a pass. Underthrown and incomplete. Good defense intended for Savage. Nice coverage by Andrew Davidson at the Kansas 34. And the time for the Sooners to punt on a fourth down play and 13 from their own 49-yard line. Half. 24-16. Right now it's 34-16. So the Sooners 10-0 lead here in the second half. But it's been kind of tough anybody to get anything going, especially Kansas in the second half. Jeff Ferguson back to kick with the wind, and Roger Ross is single safety at the 10-yard line. Snap back in good shape. Ferguson kicks away from Ross, hits at the 8, skips across the 2 into the end zone. A 51-yard punt, but not exactly what Ferguson wanted. And we have a timeout, and let's take it. 7.29 to go in the game. 34-16 Oklahoma. Kansas with the ball at their own 20. They have started from their own 11, their own 20, their own 20, their own 20, and their own 45, and now their own 20. This is their sixth possession. Two wide receivers, quarterback Diamond Smith. That's Winbush. He gets the handoff, veers outside the right, and that's Norris rather than Winbush. And he gets uh, three yards. Fernander on the tackle, his first tackle of the day. Eric Fernander from Lee Summit, Missouri, 26-1, 243 sophomore. So the game going from the 20 to the 23 and a half or 24. They call it 24 in between those yard stripes. Tight end is David Hurst for KU. 
Justin Hardwing right tackle. Winbush is in there. Uh, to the right of uh, Dylan Smith. Now tight end Hurst shifts from tight end right to the left. Off to Winbush, sweeping the left side. He's hit hard at the 29 with the first down. Needs to go to the 30. Roy Williams from Union City, California for Oklahoma, the strong safety. And Ante Jones from Homestead, Florida, giving him about five. And boy, he's still down. Winbush, he was he was really piled on there, we should say. Sooner fans, when in Tulsa, check out the world's largest selection of OU apparel and memorabilia at Big Red Sales, 44th and Memorial, or save 10% on your purchase today by logging on to sunbeltsports.com. That's sunbeltsports.com. Well, Winbush is going to be all right, I think, Merv. They, he's now leaving the game under his own power just a little bit. A little he's bit. probably tired. He has made some you know, real effort kind of runs. He's uh, he's looked awfully good, but, you know, he's stopped and started and darted and cut. He's probably taken a lot out of him today. Here is quarterback keeper by Dylan Smith, easily getting the first down from just inches away from the 30 where he needed to go. He goes up to about the 32. So Kansas has their 16th first down at their own 32-yard line, trailing Oklahoma 34-16 with 6.23 to go and the clock running here in the fourth period. Next week, of course, it's Oklahoma against Texas at the Cotton Bowl. And the Tremaine Fulton also left. Harrison Hill wide right. Tight end Hurst on the right side. And timeout for KU. We'll take it. Tight end on the right. Shotgun formation. Fake handoff. Donovan Smith throws a pass. Tipped in the air and incomplete. Wolfolk blitzed. And uh, was that Wolfolk that blitzed? No, that's Roy, uh, Roy, Roy Williams. Roy Williams, beg your pardon. Back and almost got him. He did. He almost got to Donovan Smith. Uh, Donovan Smith was hurried on his... Only defenses. All right, it's Winbush in the backfield after being injured earlier. Gets the draw play handoff up the middle. Good running room and gets up about to the 40-yard line before Torrance Marshall chases him down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that will bring up a third down play and two for Kansas at their own 40. Winbush, 15 carries, 79 yards, and uh, his rushing coming in was 37 carries this year for 204 yards, so he's and this is their uh, fourth game, so he's having his best game of the year. Winbush wide left, and then we have two wide receivers to the right, actually three to the right now, and an empty backfield from the... There's a pass caught by Harrison Hill for a first down at the 49 in KU territory. Blitz couldn't get there, and the pass was complete, and Kansas has their second first down in this drive. Seven follows at the Kansas 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Inside blitzes today. Tremaine Fulton and Roger Ross left. Winbush to the right. Hurston tied in on the right, and there's Harrison Hill going out wide left. And a pass is complete to Harrison Hill at the Oklahoma Fort. Brought down by Brandon Average. That's a first down, 11 yard pickup. So Kansas making some noise now. Moves later, uh, they're at the Oklahoma 40. Now, actually, Oklahoma 38 now. Need to get that crowd cranked up again, Bob. That was uh, pretty effective. Uh, they've kind of set it on their hands right now. All right, those of you listening on the radio here in the stands, get with it here. <laughs> Three wide receivers right. Man in motion is Norris. Under center is Dylan Smith. Turns, fakes to his fullback. Back to pass, flag is down. And a sack is Ramon Richardson. But a flag was dropped at the 40. There was no whistle, though. I, don't, I didn't hear any whistle. Everybody stopped but Ramon and the officials discussing things. And I think Dylan Smith is stepping in there and saying, hey, and, you know, I Taint fair. <laughs> I, I, I hope the officials That's make the right call. Play snap, it was a false start. No play, false start. So erase the sna the uh, sack, but the penalty will result in uh, moving the ball back from the 38 to the uh, fifth penalty, 40 yards on Kansas. They're still discussing things. Like probably back at 43 in Oklahoma territory. Coach Stoops goes out and wants to talk to uh, John Bible, the official. Put the game clock back to fourth. The dead, dead uh, play. Play did not actually occur, so they got to move the game clock back. And put six seconds back on. The ball is at the Oklahoma 43, where it'll be first and 15 for Kansas as they come up the line of scrimmage. Center up over the ball is Bob Schmidt. And we have Norris to the left of Dylan Smith in the shotgun. David Hurst tied in on the right. Break to fullback Norris. Quick pass. 
fire to like a bullet good defense uh, Sooners had it well covered straight on a coverage there straight and so it's second 15 Kansas at the Oklahoma 43 Morris is replaced by uh, Winbush Matt McCoy now in for JT Thatcher for the Sooners Winbush is wide on the left side and Hurst tied in on the left shotgun Donald Smith back to pass. He looks. Big <laughs> hole down the middle. He'll run with it. 40. Gets inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. Roger Stephan on the tackle. Well, there's a huge hole down the middle. He couldn't find anybody open, but he saw that gaping hole and it goes from the 43 in uh, to about the 37 yard line in Sooner territory. He needs to go to the 28 for the first down. That's what they call a twist between the two defensive tackles where they cross charge and uh, the one going into that vacated area got hung up somehow and never got there and it was ugly looking. Third down play, nine yards to go. Kansas, Oklahoma 37. Shotgun, Donald Smith. Here comes the blitz. Here comes the pass. It's deflected or at least uh, thrown awry. Looked like the, maybe a mess up on the pattern that time, Merv, is the official, or the, the, the official, the receiver, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Harrison Hill went, went uh, one way and the pass the other. Undoubtedly, uh, the quarterback thought he was going to turn inside instead of out. Frequently, uh, they have not looked nearly so good on as some of those deep passes and some of the other things that they've done. Sooners put in uh, Teddy Lehman in the lineup in place of Torrance Marshall and a fourth down play and nine from the Oklahoma 37 Kansas going for it fake hand off to Morris back to pass is Donald Smith he rolls out of the pocket a flag is down he fumbles the ball and the Sooners fall on it Ramon Richardson got it but I think Sooners going to get it anyway as a fourth down play I think Kansas was holding and they'll refuse that no matter what but I think the Sooners recover the fumble Corey Heineke forced the fumble and uh, Ramon Richardson Four-yard loss, a sack, a fumble, and a recovery by Oklahoma. Other than that, nothing happened on that play. <laughs> Oklahoma has doubled their sack total and their pleasure, by the way. And seven sacks today, according to our figures. And the ball is at the Oklahoma 41, and the Sooners stop Kansas' uh, best drive of the second half. And let's see if they can run the clock out, 334-16. And off goes to Quentin Griffin over right tackle, trying to run some time off that clock, and he gets up from the 41 to a close to 45-yard line. 34-16, Oklahoma on top. Kansas has not gotten close to scoring here in the second half. We're trying to check our statistics here, Merv, and I, I think Kansas got into Oklahoma territory the last time they had the ball there. It's the first time this half they've been in Oklahoma territory. Started a possession. No, first time they did. Oh, got across midfield. Got across midfield in the second you. half. Yeah, I got you. Two wide receivers to both sides. Second down, or rather, yeah, second down, eight yards to go from the 43 in center territory. A shotgun. Griffin gets the handoff over the right side, 50, and keeps his balance as he does, puts that hand down to maintain his balance, gets all the way to the KU 46. That was a typical Quentin Griffin run, wasn't it? Really it really was. One hand on the ground and uh, just chugging along. There's some, some of the weirdest statistics in this ball game, Bob, that you'll ever see. Uh, Kansas has started at their own 22 or behind 12 possessions in this ball game. Say that once more. Kansas has started behind their own 22-yard line 12 That's times. That's amazing. Yeah. You'd think they wouldn't have scored a point. Wide receivers to both sides, two to both sides after that 11-yard run. The ball's at the Kansas 46 shotgun. Gift to Griffin, down the middle. He's at the 40, back to his left at the 38. And that's where the play ends, from the 46 down to the 38. Eight yards picked up, and Vic, Victor Bullock, three-year letterman uh, outside linebacker on the uh, left side, makes the stop. Lance Donnelly in for the first time today. Trent Smith was uh, shaken up a bit earlier, you'll remember, and Matt Anderson's been playing. Chris Hammonds really hasn't played at all this year, has he? No, his, uh, his knee is... Uh, is pretty ragged. I think he probably could play if he had to, but he's uh, he's still not really ready. Ball is at the Kansas 38. Two yards to go on a second down play. Low snap. Heupel picks it up, and he'll be sacked. Back at the 45 for a loss of seven. Denard Whitfield uh, brings him down from Denison, Texas. Defensive right end. Transferred in from Fort Scott Community College. Had 20 tackles. Uh, that's some more right there. 
Yeah, yeah lost seven from the 38 back to the 40. Well, they put it 44, so six yards lost that down that play. Third down play, needing to go eight yards in down to the 36 for the first down. Savage wide right, Trent Smith wide right, two wide receivers left, Wolf Hulk and and a fake handoff. There's bootleg as Heupel keeps it. Don't know whether that was a planned play or not, but he got from the 44 down to the 40. Victor Bullock on that tackle as well. And the center just running clock out. Let's go down to Mark Matthew. Mark. Mark. Well, Mark is going to be from here short. Okay, Mark Matthew telling us he's uh, leaving for the heading for the locker room here as the center's running out the time here. They got a man, another man needs to get out there. They're waiting on someone to get out there. There's Derek Strait. Nine seconds on the play clock as the Sooners are waiting to punt the ball away. Inside 20 seconds to go, and the Sooners will just take a delay of the game with 17 seconds to go in the contest. So it's back to the 45. 34-16, maybe not as many uh, points as people thought the Sooners would win by, but it's a win, and it's a conference win, and the Sooners played super defense in the second half against the – and ends a three-game drought against uh, the pesky Jayhawks, and they have been that. There's the snap back, and here is the kick. And Jeff Ferguson from the 45, and it hits, and it's down. Ante Jones catches it. 43-yard punt at the two-yard line. KU will have first to 10 there, and they'll have nine seconds to do something about it. <laughs> Ball is at the Kansas three. 49 yards on six punts today, the average for Ferguson. Center kicking has been very, very good, even though Duncan missed that one field goal a moment ago. Now he made a real strong effort into that win. It was a good kick. Kansas will just uh, put it into the line of scrimmage to end things. And uh, two seconds, one second. There's the ball game. Oklahoma wins it. 34-16 over Kansas. That's our final score. We'll be back with a wrap-up show. This is the Oklahoma Sooner Network.